We're back for round two. Sorry, you please, you go first. I'll right. just, I'll just hide here. How are we going? Uh, we're back, everyone. Sorry. Sorry, we got shut down because we were driving. We think. Is that yes? Is that what we reckon's happened? Yep. So we've learnt that we can't go live while driving because apparently that's a safety hazard and. That, yes. Is that what we reckon's happened? Yep. So we've learnt that we can't go live while driving because apparently that's a safety hazard and... Bricks, um, Mickey, Mickey, Bur Mickey Burks, this is Brick. Um, Brick has got lots of stuff. Um, now, one of the interesting things about this one is if you have a horse... People ask often, like, you know, how do you know if a horse is sore and, and you can make them be really sore and that's true, right? But you can also, if you've got a horse that is like this and is so hypersensitive to touch, wherever I touch, you can see all that spasming, you need magnesium, right? So, and I don't mean, I mean proper magnesium. I use uh, a thing called Causemag, it's a magnesium oxide powder. It is crude, it uptakes really well. It's cheap, you can get it at any stock feed here in Australia. And all it does, magnesium is a natural, anti-spasmodic, so it stops cramping. Anyone who's had cramps, you have a magnesium bath or magnesium oil or whatever. Same thing here, right? Don't get a product that has magnesium plus this, plus that, plus other stuff, plus vitamin B, plus calming stuff. If you, if you are spasmy like this, you want something that just feeds the muscle and stops the muscle from cramping. The reason why you want to stop the muscle from cramping, obviously, we're just going to keep going through. Anyone feel free to ask questions while I'm doing this. And thanks, Nikki, for us being here. Um, <laughs> the you. reason why you want to stop muscles from cramping is because if you've got a muscle that's spasming, like I said, a muscle is never tight. It's never the muscle that's tight unless you're magnesium deficient. Usually it's a Golgi tendon organs that spasm. If you're like this, the muscle itself is tight. So the things that are going to happen is you're going to be restricted in range of motion and so you're going to either tear a tendon or you're going to tear the muscle. Yeah, so you need the muscle to be soft. No amount of massaging is going to fix a uh, magnesium deficiency as well. We've got sore stuff here. I've done this long enough to be able to determine the difference between a uh, magnesium spasm and an actual sore muscle. Um, so we've definitely got sore muscle stuff here. I'm going to definitely treat the whole horse, but we also absolutely need magnesium. So we're on board. How are we going? Are people coming back on? People are coming back on. Sorry, guys. We got kicked off because we were driving. We broke a TikTok rule. <coughs> they're good at breaking rules, like getting us for breaking rules, but they're not good at giving me my TikTok back. <laughs> so true. Isn't it? So true. It's amazing how easily you can get kicked off. Anywho. So we're just going to go through this whole horse and systematically treat all the little muscles, like this is lower neck, bicep, pec. Um, now, like I said, I'm being very mindful that even though we've got the reaction and I'm treating everything, um, we also need to supplement, yeah? So, so naturally, like we said, um, guys, let us know where you're from, where you're listening from. We'd like to know um, where we're reaching, who we're helping. Um, we know that, we know from doing the video before um, that Ireland, Netherlands and UK, everyone have gone to bed, um, but Hopefully now the States should be kicking in. Um, should be getting like afternoon, evening in the States. So if you're from the States, give us a yell or wherever you're from. If you have any questions about this horse or Nikki or she had a, what's Ladybug's race name? Lightwish. Lightwish. If you check out Lightwish's win, um, and as I've said, I love it for a couple of reasons because Nikki is one of my trainers that I work for. And also the owner, Ken from Tarkula Stud, is also a, uh, a uh, stable that I work for so um, it was kind of cool and she won it like lightning she was awesome so Nikki's got a good horse <laughs> Smokey yes he's sorry we didn't even realize that that's what you were trying to say um oh. yes we, we Smokey did tell us don't show yourself driving he said don't show the steering wheel or he said something that was a bit cryptic but he oh. was trying to tell us that we're going to get kicked off if we go live oh, so it's a steering wheel how can they know it's a steering wheel well, but that old the, but the old tiktok doesn't know that it's me trying to get your account back. back yeah <laughs> strange yeah cool thanks mate well well done uh we're a bit slow in the uptake obviously we're landing does this horse have purple mullet no it's the lights it's the lights yeah oh, she looks, looks beautiful Hi. 
Who's Poppy? You get on there. He's um, Christian's live here. Come on, Pop. Come, Poppy. Jump on over. Poppy's the main, the main worker. Don't right. talk about what I've been doing. No. Oh. You just be quiet. <laughs> you can talk about what you've been doing. Why? What have you been doing? Yeah. I've been helping with greyhounds. Oh. How pop is it? Sorry? Come here. Ruby. You what? I'll just put the razor bag in. <laughs> it's fine, we can't see. Pop, Poppy, Poppy has popped his head. <laughs> Poppy's popped his head on her nose. She's worried that you can see it. Anyway, this is, this is, um, this is, Drew's going to want your beanie. Is this a racehorse you're working on? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. What's its race name? Oh, uh, yeah, I love unicorns. Oh, um, race name? Wild and Free. Wild and Free is this one. Wild and Free. Wild and Free, Wild and Free, isn't that like, um, Spirit. Yeah, Wild and Free is also, I think in the States it's one of the, oh, I've forgotten which other uh, place it's, uh, I thought it was uh, one of the places in the States, a friend of mine, um, it's uh, sort of the city's catch cry. Wild, Wild and, free, and Free. Or it's, or it's something like that. I've got it, I've got it on my, they've got it on their number plate, I've got it on my fridge. Ah, so, so it's a state. One. Yeah. It's a state, okay. It's a city or a state that has if anyone still watching from the US, is Wild and Free a state motto? And tell yeah, us where. I think it's Wild and Free or something like that. Or. Hey Brooke. Hey Lexi. Hey Christy Taylor. Hello. Thanks for joining. This is Poppy with Christian, and Wild and Free is horsey name. Why do we have two separate names for when they're racing and when they're? Because oh, you've got a registered name and then there's a pet name. Ah. Bobby, you're meant to be saving me. That's quite funny. <laughs> That's quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> Christian gets more live on TV. At least we'll have, like I said, at least we'll have it. Um, so they have the registered race name, but it's the same as any horse sport. We'll have the registered name, which will be some... Stu if, you, if it's a dressage horse or a show horse, it'll be some crazy, stupid name. And then you'll have the actual stable name. Right. Um, your right. rails don't do that. They just keep their race name as their name. <coughs> but here we got pet name and race name. So for those who were here from the beginning, um, you're going to notice that already we've gone, we've gotten quite loose. There's no longer the spasms that we started off with. Um, there isn't that because I haven't fixed the back yet. Um, but I will back it off. The, the thing about... Um, having a therapist that knows what they're doing and a therapist that doesn't know what they're doing is that if you've got a, um, a uh, magnesium deficiency in a horse, you will treat the horse, the muscle will fix up, but then it will come back within half an hour and be really sore again. Um, that's usually another indicator of a magnesium or cramping issue. So you need magnesium. Like I said, I use Cosmag, which is magnesium oxide powder. There are plenty of other different magnesiums do different things. Uh, magnesium oxide powder here in Australia is readily available at any stock feeds. It's cheap. It's like twenty dollars for a kilo, uh, for twenty kilos, um, and it's just very easy to use. You just put it in the food. What's going on, Drew? Not much. Just pressing buttons. Pressing buttons. Right. So um, we're continuing with this live. The next stable we're at is going to be a trotter's stable. Um, we're a harness racing stable, um, still on the Cranbourne um, track grounds, and um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Super. Ooh. Hello, Equality Equine. Hey, Chris Simon. Hey, Maka. Right, guys, Sorry. so just let us know again who you are, where you're from, all that sort of stuff. Seeing we've just jumped on, we kind of want to um, re reintroduce ourselves, etc. Any horses in this stable that are big names? Eternal Flame. Eternal Flame. There we go. Right there. Hello. Doesn't she look docile and lovely? She's gorgeous. There you go. And who's the little one? Who's who's Nikki's one that like that one the other day? What's her name? Race name. Ladybug. What? What's her race oh. name? Oh. Don't ask me. Oh. We can't ask people to keep an eye out for Ladybug. <laughs> well, we can. But... Oh. Nick, Nicky Burke's last starter. That will be a, a uh, interesting horse as well. It won so easy.
Um, so is it, while you're watching, any questions on what I'm doing or treatments or um, what muscle I'm looking at or why I'm looking at it, etc. Um, the more interactive you guys get, the more fun it is. Um, otherwise it becomes a little bit quiet and not much going on. Um, or if you want to know how big the zit on Poppy's nose was that she popped, um, she'd be happy to talk it about It was really that. big. <laughs> <laughs> how hard do you push? Oh, so I don't. I'm actually literally just touching the muscle. When I'm opening the fascia, I'm, I'm, or when I'm rolling it and I'm opening it, <clears throat> I'm actually... I'm actually fairly firm, but when I treat it, when I go like now, um, you could you could probably slide a sheet of paper under my fingers. It's like I'm really not putting any pressure on the muscle at all. It's energetic, right? So I'm, I'm actually just <clears throat> I'm um, it's I, I often talk about like the mobile phones, like you know, it's as hard as you would touch the screen on your mobile phone. That's how. That's what I'm how I'm touching it. So I don't, I'm not pushing. I'm just touching it. There you go, Shell Sizzle. Your uh, that's the answer for you, Prince Remy. I just joined. You are amazing. Ah, oh, thank you. Also, Prince. Remy, there you go, Shell Sizzle. Your uh, that's the answer for you, Prince Remy. I just joined. You are amazing. Ah, oh, thank you. Also, Prince Remy says muscles, but every nut muscle is a receptor for um, the mechanism the, uh, mechanism that I'm using to release it. So I don't follow the nerves, I follow the muscles, I look for the muscles, and then I use the muscle as a receptor for the nerves. There you go, and Shell says, unreal, I don't even have a horse, but I watch all these videos. How cool is that? <laughs> that's so that's, good. That, that's, I love that, yeah, so we're trying to actually make this normal. Um, we're trying to make this normal, so, you know, that's the whole idea. So, just in case you forgot, oh, we're going to flip this over in a second. I've treated this side, I want you to look what this side looks like now, right? Yeah, so I've treated this side as opposed to, we're going to just, hey Nick, how are you? As opposed to. As opposed to this. Yeah. Yeah, so now we'll just do this side. How are you, mate? You up? Not too bad. It's all right. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> you need a massage. Uh, hey. Hey. You might be able to fix it. Oh, you should get. Do you have an ultrasound machine? I do. Yeah. Too bad. Anyway, so there we go. So we're just gonna. Yeah, they went really well. Who were they? Um, um, Abby, Maggie, <laughs> Gloria, and um, Jackman, Benny, and Zoe. Sunny T. Gloria, but Maggie. Made Abby. Apologizes why we're going live. Anyway, so we're just going to systematically go through this and trip it all out. Um, same as the other side. But like I said earlier on, um, this is a, a horse that has a magnesium deficiency. Means that it's cramping. Means that when I treat the muscles, they will they will relax. Um, but in about an hour or so, it'll come back and it'll be spasmy again. The actual um, the, the muscles will be fine. It's just the actual. Oh, sorry the. They will have released, they will just be a bit crampy and spasmy again. So uh, we want to help that with herbs or minerals. Anywho. Cool. Questions? Best magnesium supplement from Deco Pony. Oh, uh, Cosmag. Oh, here it's called Cosmag. It's a magnesium oxide powder. Like I said, it is crude. It takes up crude. Uh, it's, it's crude, but it takes up well. 
so they use it well and it stops cramping very easily. You can do other stuff, I'm sure. Um, I know people use Epsom salts. I'm not a fan, it just gives them diarrhea. I'm not a, you know, I would prefer magnesium oxide to anything like that. Yeah. Now this one trialed the other day. Did it do all right? Yep, she went really well. She went really well, but you know, we just got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is a bit quieter than next door. Oh, because everyone's gone. Oh, because everyone's gone. Yeah, yeah. It's that time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, they have yeah, just, so just as we oh. finished. So this is my regular day, right? So I usually start through, I had to pick up Drew in the dark. Um, I usually start, <clears throat> leave home about 5.30 in the morning, get home about seven o'clock or eight o'clock at night. Um, that's usually the way it goes. And this is what I do all day, every day. Um, <clears throat> when we're not doing this, this <laughs> social media stuff. Uh, anyway. So, medial glute, bicep femoris, semi-membranosis, caudal bicep femoris. Yeah, that's the kicky one. That one that will actually try to hurt you. Um, she's also tied through the whole pelvis. Um, most of that, like I said, most of that is just spasming, as in cramping, but we'll fix it all up anyway. <clears throat> And as we said, if anyone's into um, uh, into harness racing or anything like that, next stable is a harness stable. So uh, tell your friends. Share the live. Thanks for sharing, Shell Sizzle. Uh, I'm assuming that's a Chelsea. Shell Sizzle. Huh? Thank you for the shares. Thank you for the likes. Yes, it is. Thanks, Chelsea. Hi Wendy, thank you for helping horses. We asked, we asked I've been watching you for we three years. We could film. We've been doing live. It's, it's got like about twenty thousand likes so far. So they're just people asking questions about what to look for, how to look for it. Do you have a uh, Do you have an ultrasound? You know those little. Oh, have you used that on your back? Should give it a crack. Oh, shockwave would hurt more. <laughs> I mean, on your own back, you could try shock weight here. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Very effective. <laughs> it only hurts for a bit. Great analgesia. Hey? Great analgesia. I'll strain my sacrum. Oh, really? It's a gym, not a gym. Looks good. It's not coming. I've got When did you do it? Two weeks later. Oh, shit. Now. We could try shop over. Like I'd give the uh, the uh, ultrasound a crack. They do they go pretty well. Less painful. Oh, drugs! Drugs are good. <laughs> Load up so you can't feel your face. You'd be fine. <laughs> Chelsea wants to know, do you treat people and are you going to help that guy with a sore back? No. <laughs> we'll shockwave him. Shockwave him. What trainer does she belong to? Hang on one sec, we'll just watch this. Is this Mick? Yeah. No, this is Nicky. Oh, Nicky. Nicky Burke. So it's uh, Nicky Burke, but Nicky Burke's in um, Kent's stable. Um, but this is Nicky Burke's. Caitlin says, I always find your body work so satisfying to watch. Or oh, body cool. work. So yeah. you know what's really interesting is I do the occasionally do the ones to music and don't do don't talk. So that's the difference, right? I don't know if you've been watching while I've been going and it looks like I do nothing. 
that's the difference. So she's going to be able to use that now. Um, so I used to, I was doing, um, just videoing me just treating and just putting some really chilled music over it because a lot of people just like to watch it and listen to music. The amount of messages that I, even though not many people watch those videos, um, the amount of times I have people say that, it, like, you know, if they've got anxiety or something like that, they just put those on and just actually watch them. I'm like, how cool is that, that just watching someone treat a horse and, like, having chilled music actually just settles your brain down. Like, it's just amazing. Um, I still keep learning the different applications to what I know. Um, if it is helping people chill out, then that's awesome. If it is educating people about horses, that's cool too. Like, we're still... We're still working out our parameters and stuff. And, uh, and Drew here is helping me do that. Drew keeps going, I got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. <coughs> Let's go live for half a day. And here we are. All right. So we're just about done with this one. Light and free, was it? Yeah. What's it stuff? Wild and free. Wild and free. Oh. Right, wild and free. As you can see, she's really wild. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm going to try to remove this chestnut. I don't know if you're putting it over this way. Coming close. These are, these are chestnuts. So I don't know if you um, know, I, I bet you're going to have to point at this one. Yep, got it. Not that one, this yep. one. Oh, sorry, yeah. that one. Yeah. Yep. Watch out, she doesn't bite you. Um, these are chestnuts. Hang now, on, let me go to the other side, yeah. sorry. Sorry, one. Apparently, they used to be thumbs. Uh, like, you know, so it's this part of the horse. So that's Really? The, yeah, so that's the wrist. This is these. They're the feet. This used to be a thumb. And so what you can do... I don't know if it's going to come. We usually try to remove them. Remove them. Uh, Mask. I don't want to push it. Someone's obviously tried to remove bits of it. But now, people are going to say just soak them in oil, do a few different things. Um, yeah, it doesn't want to come off this one. Anyway. Um, but they just come off in bits. Wow. Yeah? So um, you probably just soak those because they're a little bit hard. I just wanted to show you it. Um, usually they come off pretty easy. Horribly, dogs love eating them. Ugh, Gross. They do. Dogs will, dogs will find that. Dogs like hunt them down. Whenever you remove them, dogs absolutely go nuts over them. Sorry, Pop. Some horses don't have them though, though. Or All a, horses have they them. do? Yeah. Some of them just grow tougher than. Yeah. So we're at that, after I've treated, we're at that state with her. If you noticed when we first started, she was quite bitey. Now she's in that par more a parasympathetic state. Now, we haven't had yawning, licking, well, we'll have licking and chewing, but, um, but again, um, we can have a conversation about releases. I'm not a big person for releases being um, hanging my hat on a treatment based on releases. Um, I, a lot of people are. I don't. I think it's, um, I don't think it's direct enough. I don't think, you know, if this, one's, if this one's licking and chewing, I don't know what part of my whole treatment that came from. Anyway. Is there anything you can do to help stifle injuries? Yeah, stifle injuries. You know what? Um, uh, uh, time, so they, so it heals, um, and then work. Like, if you've got locking stifle, the best thing for it is work. Um, there are definitely muscles that attach into the back of the stifle, like the caudal part of the biceps femoris is definitely one that you want to treat, you want to make sure that your hamstrings are nice and loose because they all feed into the back. So yeah, that's definitely a thing that you can do. Um, but again, rehab is not, ooh, you'd be dealing with either a physio or vet or someone like me, but I don't know, um, mostly work, but you've got to let it heal. It depends on what the stifle injury is and being clear on what the stifle injury is. Johanna says it's 3.30am now in Finland, but I have to keep watching. Oh my god! I was in surgery, so I am oh no. sick at home, sick note. Oh no! I'm waiting for the trotters. Oh, are you? Yeah, they'll be soon. We're just about to finish with this one. Um, in fact, we are finished. We'll rack, rack a rug on, and then we'll um, write some notes and go to the trotters. Cool, this one's done. So, actually, I'll just... Are we still... Yep. 
So again, now through to this side, and you can see, in comparison to what she was, we don't have any, well, we almost don't have any biting, um, and everything's gone nice and soft now, right? So when we started, she was jumping around, buckling, doing all that, and now we've got absolutely nothing. So she should go a lot better. We're definitely putting her on magnesium, um, and she'll probably run in about two weeks, or we'll retrial or run. Yeah. Yeah, run in about two weeks. Um, anyway, there you go. So she's done. Amazing. No worries, thank you. Um, Thanks, Poppy. No worries. Thank you, uh, thank you, Oh, see? Someone found it. Told you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh that works. <laughs> I don't want to give any pussy and money kisses now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Caitlin. Prince Remy says, how about a sensitive left angle due to an old injury? Left ankle? Yeah, sensitive left angle. Ankle. Oh, for a person or a... I think <laughs> Prince Remy's talking about horses. You know what, if you've got, a, if you've got things like um, a joint thing or anything like that, you'd be looking at joint supplements as well as making sure that you ice or do anything like that. I'd be looking at things like Rapigel, ice, or, or maybe even a joint supplement of some sort. Yeah, super. Super, super. Thank you, thank you. Does we close that again? Mm -mm. Hi, puppies. <laughs> Are they all family? Obviously. Yes, um, dad, mum, two babies. Wow. Are your ears inside out? <laughs> She's feeding a part of the chest. Is pretty yummy? So we're off. Probably won't see you for a bit. Oh, really? Yeah. Where are you off to? Off to. If you need, if you need her looked at, I can do something on Friday, next Friday. She's breaking the Did you want to look at before that or after? Okay. When could you look at her? I'll find something. We look at Monday. Monday. Chelsea, no, Christian doesn't have his own horses, but his wife, Pucci, does. And he has hundreds of adopted horses that he sees every week. So sorry to ask again, but what's the supplement gel topical you recommended? The gel? The gel? Yeah, it's called Rappi Gel. Rappi it's, Gel, it's Prince. It's a mentholated gel. Well, you can have it it's just a mentholated gel. It's sort of like DP. You can use Voltaren as well, but I like... Um, people use Rappi Gel here. It's called Rappi Gel. I'm sure you could get it all around the world. People use it here. Um, old people use it for arthritis on their hands as well, even though it is a... Um, a horse or an animal thing, um, but it's great for any arthritic issues. Amazing. 
Yeah. All right. Hey, it's Rachel back on my other account. I just took half an hour to send some emails and notify TikTok about your problems with your other account. I hope you get it back. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. That's amazing. Yeah, if that works, we will... Um, we will let you know and thank you profusely. Prince, you're in San Diego. Oh, wow, here we go. Uh, oh, what kind of horse is that? Uh, it's got oh, very short horse. legs. Sausage horse. <laughs> cool. Lightwish, this is. Ladybug, Lightwish. Lightwish. Keep an eye on this one. Saving me. I try. <laughs> what do we say about chestnut strip? Crazy. Yep. Crazy rangers. Crazy right. rangers. Crazy bitches. Crazy bitches. The red, the red girls are the worst. Yeah. No. Hey. Bobby, come on, you're a professional. You should be just holding this still. It's your job to make sure that everyone's okay, including yourself. So she's just a little bit sore in the rear. Everywhere else is fine. Um, we're going to trot her up, see how her knees are, which are these things here. In Australia, we call these knees. I know it's probably really your wrist, um, but we're just checking her knees. Oh, my God. Ah! Don't. Ah. No. Stop it. Deco Pony, I'm a redhead. It's no fun being so sensitive. Chestnuts are misunderstood. <laughs> we know. <laughs> Mandy, yes, she is a little bit sore, but Christian will fix that, I assume. Let's all stay tuned. Yeah. Be serious. I don't get good help in race tables anymore. You used to be able to get like really good professionals now. He's probably helping better. Yeah, probably. Do you? Just feed the through the lead through to him. Yeah, Mm. 
this is also why when I do the TikToks, I do each little muscle, because when you see it and I don't explain it, it kind of happens really quickly and it also doesn't look like I'm doing anything unless I point it out, right? So, mm -mm. Lynn, Lynn, yes, we do need to clone Christian. If you know anyone who can <laughs> has actually mastered the cloning technology, <laughs> I'm sure you could make a lot like of money. 3D print another one. Yeah. Shark Bean, yes, you and me both. So many humans do. What's but that? trust me, I've tried. He doesn't do it. What? Not yet. She said, uh, they said, honestly, I need this treatment on myself. I'm yeah, a sore horse. Me too. Yeah. Me too. And <laughs> Mick. Diane. Thanks, Diane. Thanks for watching. Christian, I want you to come to the USA. I've never seen anyone so successful. Yeah, how cool, eh? So I definitely nice. definitely am coming to the States. That is an absolute certainty. I don't care if I have to go to the States and do like a circuit of like, like present. Like I don't know what the big, we have Equitana here. I don't know if, we have, if I have to go over there and present at whatever your big fairs are. Like if you guys, I don't know, do you have a big horsey fair thing um, where you could just do a presentation? Um, even if I have to come over and do that at a few places, I'm absolutely up for that. So uh, um, that's probably how it's gonna start, <coughs> I would expect. Anyone in the US, what is the biggest horse shows, fairs horse fair there, thing. over there? Any national Industry. ones that are massive? Trudy says, Christian taught my friend Michelle and she moved to Kentucky. Michelle, yes. Michelle, um, Michelle Steinman, Michael Gibbs. Yeah, she, I did. So um, I taught two people, um, Cara down here and Michelle who's gone to the States. Um, Michelle's awesome. Haven't heard from them for a long time. Michael had a birthday recently. Um, I think it's like live free or die is the, uh, it's where Michelle was from. She gave me the, uh, the number plate. And it Sounds like Texas. The number plate and live free or die on the... Yeah. So yes, I did teach Michelle. I taught two people. Um, I taught a whole bunch of people little stuff, but she, I gave her the whole, everything. Which is really cool, because I was, I, I learned how to articulate what I was teaching or what I was showing. What do you think of acupuncture? Love it. Love acupuncture. Um, yeah, I, as I said earlier today, I think that in this industry or any, like, you know, animal industry, I think there's a distinct lack of people doing acupuncture. Um, I don't have the time nor the inclination to do it, but I, I love it. I love it for myself. I love it for other people and I love it for animals. I wish there were more people who do it. Now, when's she running? Next Wednesday. Yes. She's running next Wednesday. You'd be crazy not to watch this horse run next Wednesday. I mean, just, just a, a little tip. Um, and I, I know Drew and my tips are really shit. Um, but, like, if you want to see something that's as close to a short thing as possible. Where's um, the, um, oh, Prince Remy's, I think, essentially saying, you don't need to learn acupuncture. Where you're putting your fingers on the pressure points, you just stick needles in. <laughs> Sounds simple. Cool. Sounds simple. <laughs> so what's the race I name? What's the race name of this it's one? on the door. Oh, it's on the door? Light wish. Light wish. There you go. Next when? Next. Um, yeah, well, you know, um, uh, acupuncture, it's a, it's a point, I'm sure. Um, I'd, I'd make an absolute um, mess of it. I'm good at what I do, but I don't know about um, sticking needles where my fingers are. Uh, where is she racing at? Mandy would like to know. Wednesday, where's Wednesday usually? Oh, it should be Sandow. Sandown. Sandown in Australia. Melbourne, Might wish. Australia. Lovely name. It is a lovely name, isn't it? Yeah. Her, her pet name's even better, Ladybug. Ladybug. She's not much name. of a ladybug, though. 
pretty, <laughs> pretty bitey for a ladybug. Pretty bitey. <laughs> I think it's because we're interrupting the sleep too. Yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. Um, <laughs> no worries, Mandy. Thank you for watching. So. Yeah, and right. Got red hair. <laughs> Very much. He's got red hair. For yeah. those, like we said, you know, who was it that said, someone said, it's not easy being a, a red redhead. Sensitive redhead. No. Anyway. So that's that. We just wanted to make sure. Actually. Okay, so it. Mostly in the bum, uh, hand fins, all that sort of stuff yeah. over in the rear end. Yeah. Here, I'll give you this. More puppies. More puppies. <laughs> That's nice. Um, I'll give you another one. Uh, like this Friday next week. At the shopping? Yeah. Right, Trudy, they are beautiful stables. Very clean, very pretty. Are we allowed to show them? Yes. yes. Not giving away insider no, information or anything. Very proud of the stable. Yep. Yeah. It is one fancy stable. Hello, beautiful. Hello. Hello. Oh, kids. Hello. Stop it. Hello. How's your pole? Right. How's your pole? You all right? Okay. Yeah? okay. All right. Right. Should I get my phone and leave? Yes. Yep. Let's get. You Super. can go for a go for a wander. Super. Or can you that? flick it over to... Uh, I don't know that you can turn it around. Ooh. I don't know that there's any way to do it. I was hoping we could, but... Oh, yeah, there you go. Flip. There you go. Hello. Right. Ooh, hello. It? Yep, we're, we're good. All right, I can see what you're writing now. Uh, she wants more message. Um, more massage, I reckon, I reckon. Um, it's never the pole. Yeah, hi, Diane. All right, we got some people anyway. Uh... Right, so we're just about to go to a, a uh, trotter stable, harness place. See ya. Thank you. Bye bye. Mwah. See you soon. Thanks. Yes, thank you. Um, I'll Happy give you your on that Friday. Yep. I'll see you before I go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Right, so we're just uh, leaving Mick Kent and Mickey Burke stable. Um, whatever. No, it's never the pole. Oh, I can see some things now. It's hard doing this when you're um, when you're uh, on the other side and you can't see what people are writing. Uh, cutie, she is a cutie, isn't she? So, I mean, the stables here are amazing. The Cranbourne um, race course is really cool. I want to talk more about um, uh, Michelle Steinman as well. Yeah, so Michelle is in the States. Uh, she's out in Kentucky. Um, she is, well, hang on, uh, what time of day is it here? It's got to be like 11 o'clock almost. Now. Almost 11 o'clock. Yep, 10.56. 10.56 in the morning on uh, Wednesday. Oh, someone's giving me likes. Is that what the hearts are up the side? Yep. Uh, yeah, so, um, yes, yeah, 10.56 on a Wednesday. Um, we've had breakfast. We're about to go to a trotter place. We're just leaving. The horse that we just looked at, they're just going to trot up, and the vet is here to trot up and have a look at. Um, oh, I guess, can you grab those? Can so What a guy. Those. Thank you. All right, so this is my phone anyway. Right. Um, so they're just going to check her knees, trotter up, make sure she's right. Thanks, guys. See ya. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> anyway, that's about it. So off to uh, Scott Ewan, and um, we'll uh, take it from there. Thanks, Nick. Thank we'll see you, you soon. Bye. Where? Where are you going? Anyway, oh, we've got a section missing. Go through there. That's easy. Joined. Who else? Oh. Uh, Ellie. Oh my God, I love you. Thanks, Ellie. That's really kind of you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, oh. say Tobe. You're still loitering. What are you doing? Go home. Oh, okay. Go to races. No. <laughs> All right. Yeah, good. See you, mate. All right. So anyway, uh, I love that you're doing these lives. I know, how cool is this? This is really weird. Um, uh, invite. Oh, is that? That's just an offer. Oh, yeah, right. You just ignore it. 
<laughs> cool. Um, all right, we're going to have to try to do this without getting shut down. Are we yeah. going to try? Yeah. Right. Um, we'll just look out the... Uh, yeah, I don't know what we do. I don't know what we do either. Just look at your face. Look. No, I don't know. Maybe. We're going to try it. We're going to try do this. I hope we don't actually... Anyway. We're not saying anything. We're just walking to. Uh, yeah, just walking to. The next we're just walking to the next one. Well, what have we got? Be safe this time. <laughs> we're not saying that. Um, just show him who. Just show who. Uh, it'd be so good if you could teach a few more people. I'm definitely going to teach a few more. Oh my god! Look at the light. Look at the likes going off, guys. Thank you. I love the likes. Um, what is it? Drew reckons if you hit likes or hit shares, etc., um, more people will see this, um, and it, more to more people who um, who might need to um, see me treating horses, helping them, educating, helping other people. So anyway, um, old mate, smoke. Uh, who's old mate? Show He's old saying mate. put the camera on me while while you yeah. walking. Oh, there you go. No, you're definitely walk. walking. No, here you go. You're walking. Yeah. Hi. Hi, you're hi walking. everyone. Gross. Don't don't. Yeah. Don't. Uh, just walk into the uh, walk into the next place. Really walk into the slowly. next place. Yeah, that's all we're doing. <laughs> if uh, if we get if we stumble while we're walking, then uh, here's my hands. They're not holding. Don't say that word. Uh, yeah. Okay. It'd be so good if you could teach a few more people. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, the... that's what we the intention is. That's why we're trying to do this, and that's why I'm writing the course. Definitely gonna. Um, Help a few more, help as many people as possible, teach as many as possible as well. Thanks, Neil. Hey, Neil Sutton, follow the live creator. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. We've gone very, uh, very uh, docile now. It's like yeah. it must be like the mid morning, uh, the mid morning um, quiet time. Mm. And also, they don't want to look at me. Oh uh, yeah, they do want to look at no, you. They, they have to look at you. I can't tell. I can't. <laughs> I can't tell. I can't massage anything. Well, more taps you get on. The more taps you get on for you pages, right? Yeah. So the more. Oh, the more is that likes. what it is? You're doing an amazing job, Christian. Says Trudy. Thank you, Trudy. Um, everyone's hitting that like. Thank you. Thanks. That's why all the kids say, "Hit the like. Hit the like button. <laughs> hit the likes." Yeah. Uh, walking so fast. <laughs> <laughs> You're walking about 54 kilometres an hour, Drew. Yeah. What, what a guy is. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can't see that anything's moving the way you got it. It's actually... Good. Yeah. Let's look at the Langerak one logo. Hey, yeah. <laughs> that was, uh, that's good. All right, guys, so uh, going off to a trotter barn, we're like uh, not even a minute away. They had a bad day. Yeah, that's not good. Um, sure. Not even, we're just about there. Anyway. So, any questions from anyone? What do we do? We, we need to, we need some questions. We need some comments. Nico Minsa says, "I've learned so much from your videos, and thank you." All. Oh, very welcome, mate. Smokey uh, says, "They say if you're not tapping, you're slacking." Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway. I like those earrings. Thanks. These are custom made by a lovely lady on IG. Um, and I can't think of her name now, but um, can you explain what you're doing with your hands uh, when he's treating? Yes. God, Drew could almost explain it, but I am rolling open the fascia with my hands when I'm rolling it, and I am tripping out the Golgi tendon organ. I'm tripping out using the muscle as a uh, sensor. Um, to trip out the Golgi tendon organs, which are a little organ that goes into spasm and sort of go a little bit in, unconscious. They don't know that they're doing it. So um, that's what I'm doing. Um, basically, I'm trying to find any restricted fascia and open it up, and then I try to find muscles that are in spasm and I release them. Um, it's really osteopathic in a lot of ways or very similar principles to osteopathy. Um, bone therapy, etc. Um, but that's what I'm doing. So when you see me checking, I'm, I'm actually not just checking, I'm already treating. Um, so it makes it look even more magical when I go to the treating bit and it looks like it all disappeared within a millisecond, which it does. I mean, you've been, whoever's been watching today will see how, how quickly it trips out. Anyway, 
Um, other things while we're driving between, well, I mean, other things, um, uh, <laughs> uh, please share um, this. If you're on this new one, please share it with anyone you might think is on the old one. Also share it with people who you uh, would like to help or who have problems with their horses who may find this interesting. The other one is share it with people who just might find horse stuff interesting. I reckon. So uh, anyway, so um, please share this. Like as Drew said, well, like well, again, I'm telling you to hit the likes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, but it'd be really helpful. The many, the more for you pages we can get on and show this sort of stuff to, and um, make this normal and help educate people within, like you know, soft tissue therapies in um, the horse and animal world. Um, the better. Um, I may even. I mean, I've, I'm going to speak to. Um, the Werribee Zoo again, I may even try to um, post the uh, rhinoceros or something. Um, ooh. Stop at the yellow sensor. Yeah, there we go. Uh, can you feel the release as it's happening? I can. I can feel with the nerves too and I can feel the muscle release. Absolutely I can. Um, like I said, it's, um, you know, it's really subtle, but I've been doing this long enough and often enough that I can feel as soon as it releases. Uh, any ideas of how to get through? Oh, so this one, home of the custom cattle tag. I've seen your last two comments, but I may have missed the first one. Can you give us more context? You've said he carries on a treat and has become dangerous. Any ideas of how to get through this? He has to be sedated to have feet done. Ooh. I'm not sure if there was a starting question with some more context, but... Um, if you can, if we, we may have missed it, so sorry, if you can let us know what, what animal you're talking about, or maybe it's a family member. How long did it take you to learn, Chris? Still learning. Um, I would say because I didn't have any teachers or any course or really anything to go by, I would say that it took me a good 10 to 15 years to become really good at this. Um, uh, so I'd say 10 to 15 years, um, but you know what? As I, I said, I reckon even if I look at myself today, I reckon in six months, how I do things will be different. So I'm always learning. I'm always changing. Um, I love uh, um, I love new things. I always look at – Pucci sent me a thing on a different type of therapy. I like looking at different types of therapies. I like looking at what other people are up to if I can. But anyway, yeah, um, I'd say 15 years of myself. I have a 21-year-old TB. Thoroughbred? Yep, he has been cleared for Cushing's. Oh, yeah, okay. So this is the one who kicks up a treat and has to be sedated to get his yeah, feet done. Yeah, right. I would, I would say get a therapist out. I don't um, – Cushing's wouldn't make them like that. Um, usually gut stuff or pain makes them like that. Um, if you get the feet done, the joints could be really horrible. Uh, there's, a good, there's a good chance that it's joints, pain – makes them like that. Um, if you get the feet done, the joints could be really horrible. Uh, there's a good there's a good chance that it's joints. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're back to normal. There we go. Oh, that was a fast walk. <laughs> Live has paused. Are we back now? We should be back now, everyone. Sorry about that. We were just... Parking our legs. Hey, uh, parking what? Parking our legs. Parking our legs. Uh-huh. There you go, mate. You do everything, mate. <laughs> you wash it down, mate? Huh? I'm getting you washed down, I'll do it. Yeah, thank you. Alright. How did you feel? Hello. Oh, Good, how are you? Is it okay for you? Hi, I'm cameraman. It's on live. This is true. It's on live. Yeah, it's right. Oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry. Right, so we're at Scott Ewan. Um, Bulletproof Boy, obviously, is their uh, big horse. Um, he does a lot of winning. Are we looking at him today? Uh, no, uh, we're not looking at him. Today. Coming out the 
doesn't want to be touched around the ears. No. Ah. It's not the pole. It's never the pole. You want to look around C1, C2, I reckon. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Oh, C3, actually. C3. And J. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Cool. No, it's all right. I'm, I'm in every, I'm getting in everyone's way. It's my first day as a, as camera manning, so you just push me out of the way. <laughs> yeah, just, just tell him when to, where to go and when to go. Yeah, right. So, oh, what a surprise, right? So, touchy around the ears. Yeah, that's the. So, often people, this is a classic. So, this is live, so you can see. This is classic. That's right. Um, when people say touchy around the ears or it's a pole or they're funny around the head, you can see it is not the pole on her. She's definitely not sore there. This is TMJ right here. Yep, that's this one, right? You can see as soon as I touch that, she's sore there. And we also saw around uh, C3 more. Hyoid is absolutely fine. So I'm going to say that it's a TMJ mostly, so we'll work on that. Um, but this is like if you've got a horse with a bit and it's trying to get off the bit, then it's going to be this. Hi, Scott. How are you going? Hi, mate. How's your holiday? Sorry, but actually, uh, come back. <laughs> Had to come back. Bugger. Get money. But I know, right? There you go. Good. What's her name? Blaze. Oh, Blaze. <laughs> you know what happens? You go to stables because they know the horses, yeah. and I see like a hundred horses. Yeah. And they're like, how do you not know that bay horse yeah, is Blaze? I don't know her. Seriously. She's been on your story before. Hey. She's been on one. Oh yeah, there you go. This is a special case. Are we looking at going over and having a look at yours too? Yeah, sure. So there's nothing else going on here. Tell me about your trip. Tell me about your trip. Oh, best awesome. bit? Oh, this is the best. Like, it was just so good. You just dumped bags to get on the cruise ship and oh, over to the islands and have a look around the Is your daughter on the ship the, as well? Yeah. Oh, got cool. to see her production shows at that. Good. That awesome. Oh, yeah. So cool. What a life. I know, huh? Amazing life. Just interrupt through with you. Uh, Sandra would like to know the best way to release pressure in pull slash jaw slash head area. We're about to see. So, I'm going to go to, I'll, I'll get to this part, but if you keep watching, we're going to get to this bit. This is like the TMJ, so that's the skull, that's the jaw. So it's a TMJ temporal, temporomandibular joint. This is like where her main problem is, right? So we're going to get to that, um, and I'll show you exactly how I do it. I just want to get all the other stuff first. Custom cattle tag says blaze without a blaze. Lol. Blaze in heaven. Ah. That's her name. Right. <laughs> blaze in heaven. <laughs> spot without a spot. Yep. Mm -hmm. She has very kind eyes. Yes, she does. So yeah, she's a sweetie. Is she not usually nice? No, no, she's, she's lovely, but she's really grateful. That's C1, C2 is about here. This one is C3, for some reason, it's a little lower down. Now this could be from pulling back, or like, I, you know what, it's sort of like she's grabbed something and pulled back or something, so. How you going, Drew? Drew looks tired. Uh, we killed, we broke through. First, this is the, I think this is the longest I've hold, uh, held the camera. How are your shoulders? Yeah, a little bit sore, but it's okay. It's good fun. 
All right, so I'm gonna go for this one. So what you're gonna, if you look at your own horse, what you're gonna find is the muscles go like this. They fan out like this, right? And so when you get up close, you'll, like I said, that's the skull, the jaw is here. This is a little gap here between where it actually opens and closes. Right in that sweet spot there, you'll feel like little, like little ropey bands. When I like check on her, you can see that they're sore. So that was being pretty brutal. So what I do is I will roll on each one of them that I feel is like a little band. I'll roll over it and I'll apply pressure, pressure with my finger into the back of it. So I'm literally getting every little muscle here and then stretching it, like I'm actually putting it in traction. And so what happens, ha, ha, ha. what happens when I do, now obviously be mindful because it's a really tender spot. But when I do it, what I'm doing is because I'm putting the muscle in traction, that same little mechanism that trips out is getting, oh, like, you know, basically is checking itself and tripping out right now. So, good girl. So this is a hypersensitive spot, so don't be too brutal. I mean, I'm doing it with a lot of feel. So all I'm doing is rolling through those little bits, right? Um, now you can even just massage it, so it's gonna be fine, and massage through the muscle. But again, I'll do my version that I know works straight away. And then she'll be fine through there. You can see it's already back up. You can see her eyes as well. So we're gonna do that both sides. So I'm just gonna make sure that I do her with her, her neck, C2, and her jaw. I like that we're doing this with the stuff going on. It's awesome. Now these guys went away on holiday, so I keep on wanting to know how the whole thing. Yeah, like, was Where was your favourite place? Um, like Honolulu. Honolulu? Nice. Yeah. I'm yeah. I say the bar. The bar. Yeah. The bar and the pool. <laughs> Uh, well, actually, it was only hot for a couple of days. Oh, really? And there is what like four What was Honolulu like? Uh, that was warm. Yeah. yeah. More humid. It wasn't hot, it was just humid. Yeah. yeah. What, like uh, early 30s or what? Uh, 26. Oh, really? Yeah, because they're coming out of their winter. So yeah. I think so it's always nice there when you're around. Yeah. Yeah, right. How long will the tension release adjustment last? Will the same spot keep getting sore and tight? No, it, it's fixed. No. It, is, it is fixed unless, it re, unless she re injures, right? So again, right there, yeah? That's where her spot is. It could be any one of those muscles that goes through here. Um, I'm gonna fix the rest of the neck first and then come to that. I don't really um, so it's fixed, it does not come back. Is that like a major headache? Yes, it will be. Because yeah. it's like pressure yeah. in the jaw, right? Because I noticed that temperament was different. And you know, when you've got stuff around your face, yeah. like if you, she's yeah. got soreness yeah. like all around her face, you kind of just want to be left alone, especially when you she guys are trying to put... You know, out of sorts. Yeah, she's... She yeah. Now, you saw the brands on the shoulders of the other of the thoroughbreds. That's where they brand the uh, standard breads. Yeah. And now I have no idea what that means. Okay, never has to be Taz a tay. I can't see your battery. Oh, I don't think that's up. No. Who's that? This is Paula. He just came in last night. Yeah, right. He just came to the paddock yesterday. Ooh, his coat looks amazing. He had a coat. I think it's pretty good. I don't know when you come back to scan it. Good. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. Thank you, everyone, liking the live. What is it? What are you saying? 
that wall. Sorry. Uh, you fucking swore. What the fuck? Seriously, we know that a fucking swearing wasting diet, hungry. Yeah. Uh, TikTok's fine. A lot of editing going on. Uh. <laughs> no, it's live. There's no editing. There's no editing. Live like this. What you notice is once you've said it, it disappears, so you don't have to worry about it in the future. So people can't keep replaying it. Hey. That's no good. I've got the nice guy reputation. Stop that happening. Oh, it's all right. You'll still have it. It's fine. Right. So nothing through serratus, nothing through uh, cervical trapezius or rhomboid. We got that little bit in C3 with C2, C3, which I'm just about to fix up. So I'm just tripping. So you saw me rolling. That means I'm opening the fascia, and then you see me touching it, and it means I'm tripping it out. When I touch it and trip it out, that's when we start getting that hazy face. Do you want to do your one next so we get you out of the way? Yeah. I'm being firm but fair, right? So I'm not being nasty. And they really are tiny, so if you're feeling around here, firstly understand they're sensitive. Right next to the, uh, it's right in here. Do it to yourself. Like if you feel up in there, it's pretty tender, right? I'm feeling. <laughs> You're feeling. <laughs> yeah. So be mindful, be kind if you're going to do this. And in that little spot, there's about three different places that I'm treating for. Yeah. So anyway, so I hope you guys are all appreciating this stuff. This is a like this is the, the awesome thing, right? Ah, oh, much better. So if you hear that people are saying they're funny around the ears, this is close enough to the ears to be a problem. Someone's just posted your website in the comments. This oh, is. Oh wow, that's cool. Well done. Thank you for that. Jesus saves okay. our UAU. Hello, puppy. Sorry, what's that? Hello, puppy. Ah, um, langaderequine.com. This is Christian's website. He wanted everyone's feedback. How many years experience? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Cool. Oh, Done. Another one notes, done notes. and dusted. Notes and then... Notes. We've come to the administration portion of the TED no, Talk, no, no, people. No, no. This no, is no, where no, we no, ask no, you no. to applaud gently by tapping your screen <laughs> until little pink hearts float up, um, which we call applause. Now, we're not asking for likes, we're asking for tapping applause. Yeah. Tapping applause while Christian <laughs> does his paperwork. Uh, where are you guys from? We are from Melbourne, Melbourne Australia. Australia. 
<laughs> Chloe, thank you for asking. And we're currently out in a suburb or a city called Cranburn. Cranburn Racecourse. What stable are you working at now? Right, right now, we're at Scott Ewan's, so you can show you. Does it say? Does it? Ah, oh, right, there we go. This is the stable we're at, everyone. And Bulletproof is apparently, a oh, Bulletproof Boy is one of their very successful horses. Yep. I binge watch your videos, says Anjali. Uh -huh. Love what you do. Thanks. Thank you. Kimberly followed. <laughs> Chloe, oh yeah, I know where you are. Yep. Cranburn. Yes. Cranburn. Beautiful place. Gonna guess Australia. I'm in the USA. Thanks. Oh, where? The Snow White Man. Whereabouts in the US are you? The Snow White Mama. <laughs> Whereabouts? Thank you for the applause. We're starting a new thing. We're calling likes applause, so we don't have to ask you for likes. We're just asking for finger applause. Finger applause. All right, we're gonna have another look at it. All right, who's next? How far off are you? Green Beans, hey, Canada. How are you guys? Nova Scotia, Canada. Ronis. Ontario, Canada. Well, C Canada's just... Canada's, Canada's just three... Share, all, share it to all your Canadian friends. Share it to all your Canadians. From Metropolis IL. Is that Illinois? I'll have murdered this. USA here, South Dakota. Thanks, Amanda. Tammy's in Michigan. All right. I'm going to get as close as I can here, but I don't want to interrupt the, um, the two important men. So, so Maggie doesn't have enough magnesium for it. So I could pour, or you can use the Maggie for all the other stuff. Gordon is like really cheap, it's sort of like 20 bucks a kilo. It'll stop this cramp and stuff. Oh, okay. Maggie won't do. Yeah. But Maggie's good for like temperament, like for settling that. Yeah. Um, but I would also just give like 20 grams, just a small scoop of not like it's magnesium oxide called Mag powder. I will scribble it down for you for sure. And that'll stop this sort of cramp Stuff. Yeah. Look how sweet she is. <laughs> She's just annoyed because her head wasn't on camera. There we go. So she just. And, and, but the, you know, the other thing is because everything is so damp at the moment, they're pulling with their hands rather than trying to push off with their rears, so they're starting to really dig. Yep. So it's like, you know, it's not, it doesn't surprise me that her front is. I was at um, Joe Pace and Dean Braun's place the other day, and all their, everyone was crunching. Okay. Yeah, so they're all doing that. Yeah. 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 Now she's sensitive up near the ears to the brain, not that. <laughs> Thanks, Ronus, and no problem. It was a lucky guess from me. Thanks for sharing, Snow White Mama. That's okay. Uh, can you see other facets of the world? Come on, Canada. Dees, Dees, we'll address your question in a second when Christian's finished treating. Why? What's the question? You should like to know exactly what you're doing, and can someone explain what this is, please? Oh, I'm a soft tissue therapist for horses. This is a horse. I'm a soft tissue therapist. <laughs> <laughs> He's performing, <laughs> currently performing soft tissue therapy on a horse. I'm, tra I'm treating a little... She's a trotter? Yeah, a pacer. Pacer. I'm treating a little pacer. Um, this slippery stuff here is called fascia. Uh, and so what I'm doing is I'm opening up wherever there's inflammation or sore muscles, 
This stuff will dehydrate so the muscles don't slide that well. So what I'm doing is when I roll over the muscles like this, I'm actually like pulling the rug out from underneath the, the muscle and opening up that slippery connective tissue. And then when I find sore muscles like this one, um, what I do is I put my fingers on it and I create a response in the muscle so it trips out what are called Golgi tendon organs, which are like little, the best way to describe it, are like little springs at the end of each muscle. That's the idea of them anyway. They crank up the muscle and they release it. So I touch it, I create a response in the muscle. She goes into a little bit of a parasympathetic state. So she will sort of like settle down and then that will be gone, yeah? So I'll go through the, all the areas that are sore, I'll go through. Um, I expect she's got a little bit through here too. Um, She's a little bit grumpy, but she's just spirited, I guess, is the best way to, to, to describe her. Um, she's running, she'll be trialing soon again and running soon. We're just making sure that she's going to keep going. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a lymphatic drain-ish? No. So no, Snow White Mama. Is there some horse whispering going on? Yes, 100%. Oh. The actual horse whisperer. Yeah. Do horses ever get muscle relaxers prescribed? Sorry? What? Do yeah, horses ever get... Yeah. Not from Christian, though. He's not a vet. He's a mechanic. Big in the big world. Parasympathetic state. Sorry? It is a big word, isn't it? Yeah. Parasympathetic. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Dees. No worries. Thanks for watching. So normally Christian will do set smaller videos on his TikTok, but I thought, why don't I mess up everyone's day, including the trainers, and just go live and follow him around for an entire day on live, uh, so you guys can see what happens. Hey Green Beans, he doesn't uh, own or ride horses, but his wife uh, does. He sees so many that he likes to have maybe sometimes one day off a week from them, but um, he often ends up treating or watching um, his wife Pucci ride, so definitely horses all around him. He also has an amazing array of um, wild birds that come to his home and that he hand feeds off the balcony which is amazing to watch kookaburras and magpies and all sorts does christian i don't know oh, we did that so cool you did yeah it's working out well thanks lynn we've had to break it up into a couple of separate lives the first one was stunning this morning with about eighteen thousand likes and we're on for about three hours um thank you for answering yeah no worries green beans beautiful yeah the birds are amazing some people are freaked out by them eating out of his, eating out of his hand, but um, it's good fun. I've started doing it at my house as well. <laughs> hey, just found out on Facebook there's a page called USA Horse Events Channel. Okay. <laughs> are you going to make the horse turn its head and cough? No. <laughs> It's a Philly. <laughs> Rach, Jazz, thanks for the follow. Beth, Tignor, thanks for the follow. Green Beans, thanks for liking the live. Some people are just animal whisperers. It's usually not the riders, yeah. Well, it's certainly true for Christian. How did he get into this line of work? Plenty of courses. There are plenty of courses. No, no, how, you know, sorry, how did he get how into did this? I? Oh, I broke my back racing BMXs. Don't I'm running nightclubs and I broke my back trying to fix myself. I kind of found my way into this. S started with dogs and through an amazing story ended up with horses. But you can wait for the movie and you'll get the, the in-depth <laughs> answer. Dumb question, but are thoroughbreds the fastest horses in the world? I don't know, quarter horses are apparently the faster over a quarter of a mile. I don't 
good question. Christian wanted to get to USA so he can post there. What's that? I'm tapping like crazy to send you hearts on live. Thanks, Green Beans. Amazing. Everyone is. Oh, we're about to hit 10,000 on this. Do you apply much pressure? He does not apply any pressure. Any pressure, almost. He always says you could slide a bit of paper in. There's a difference when he's checking at the start um, and when he's actually treating, but he only touches ever so slightly. Does he mostly treat racehorses? No, a lot mostly, yeah. But also, like I said, one of the horses yesterday has gone off for the Olympics that I treated yesterday. Um, they also had Arabs um, to red, and this is not a thoroughbred um, that I treated yesterday. Um, they also had Arabs um, to red, and this is not a thoroughbred. Um, I'll scribble that for you. But it was just the front. Nothing. 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 Uh, Ken Watson called. Oh, yeah, don't worry about that. I got. Very neck. Yeah, green beans. Start. So many people wish that we could fix ourselves or that Christian could fix us. Yeah. But it's not a thing. I think if a if a if a billionaire offered him enough money, <laughs> but um, not even for close close personal friends, he's not a human whisperer. Love watching the difficult ones. Truly shows your quality of work. Oh really? That's from Karen. <laughs> <laughs> running late. Are you? What are you running late for? Oh, where? Where are you going to go? Back to Gaz? Oh. Are we holding you up? No, you're right. Oh, cool. I'm just making sure. Okay, what's the most common sore spot? Ah, oh, it's got to be the. Uh, in, in any type of. I would always look at hamstrings and I would look at lower necks. Yeah? Oh, there you go. Um, they're the most common. Oh, is that your phone? What time is it? It's oh, in my right. pocket, I can That's tell right. you. No, good. I'm just throwing stuff around. Uh, 11.36, I just need to look at my diary. Right. Hello. No, go, you can interrupt. No, you're, no, you're, you're not interrupting. Oh my, oh my God, seriously. Still doing Scotty's or did you want me to grab out? How many do we have for you? I gotta make sure. I gotta make sure that these guys, because I'm here for you next week again as well. So, do you still need me? To... Yeah, I'm still here for you guys next week if you need me next week um, as well. So yeah, we can definitely do too. I just need to make sure that these guys. I think we're going to have plenty of time. Okay. So, but how late is, are you okay to wait for me to do this? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. yeah. I just want to make sure I'm not holding you up or anything. No, we need to make sure you do No, we'll, we'll be fine. I've got plenty of time to do these guys and you. Yeah. So, we'll, we'll work it in. Huh? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> they didn't tell me how many I've got. So, ask Scotty or, or Kylie how many we got from them. But we'll easily be able to do it. Promise. I promise. How are they going? How are yours going? Oh no, thank you. Yeah, I just shoved a bacon and egg thing in my face. Not a carrot. I'll get out of the way. Yeah. Have a carrot. Yeah. Yeah. Have a carrot. Um, we tried three yesterday. Oh, I got it. It's never the pole. Green beans, you're so right. It's never the pole. I love watching them do no, that ones. No. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. Oh, good. 
Uh, oh, me, what do I do aside from making the live happen? Uh, nothing of importance. True, true. Nothing he important. He does plenty. Um, well, this DSC music, DSC? DSC music tuition, DSC yes. DSC music tuition. Yeah. Yeah. So Drew is, Drew makes kids, make, people make music. Yeah, we build musicians. Mm, yeah. Will this help with any what horse? Was his name again? Yes, Nico. Nico. I bought the surname. I bought the Olivia. Olivia, but. Olivia. Michelle, seeing your rush, could you just clean off the back for me? Yeah, no, no, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. We're quickly getting one done because she's impatient. Yes. Donuts. 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 This. Where is this? Shelley, we are at um, We're at Cranbourne in Melbourne, Victoria. Good for the live. <laughs> That makes you up better than coffee, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Shelley. Yes, yes. What? Uh, hang on, Snow White Mama. May I bring my feisty wild Boston Terrier to you? Just kidding. Yeah. I will bring donuts. <laughs> Karen, I miss working at the racetrack with horses. Even okay, can... Gorgeous animals. They are, Shelley. They are. This one just did a... Rear it up a bit. Rear it up a bit. Well, Christian just casually treats and eats a donut. <laughs> <laughs> do they do FES on these horses? FES. What's FES? winter we just had a, a, a few days of really heavy rain so all of a sudden all the horses are using their fronts more than their rears because they can push with their rears on dry ground but once it gets wet they've got to pull and so a whole bunch of horses that don't um haven't used their fronts for a while all of a sudden having to mostly use their front and so that's what we're getting a pattern of um especially any horses any um, trotters or paces or you know any uh, they've got to pull something so they're going to pull it with their fronts so that's what's going on with these guys Functional electrical stimulation. It's a muscle oh, yeah, therapy. It's like a, yeah, yeah, okay. What was the question? 
to hear you. Well, well, it's sort of like a TENS machine. Um, some people do. Um, you know what, uh, I don't mind it if it's, if it's specific, like they, we get a similar thing with big hoops and they put it over the whole horse. Um, it's non-specific. I'm not a fan of non-specific therapies like a massage chair. You don't sit in a massage chair and hope to fix your frozen shoulder. Same thing, you don't put a, a, a magnetic rug on a horse and hope to fix something that's going wrong. Um, they're good for creating overall health in the horse, is that their body? Um, but so far as, unless you're using something specific, like with TENS machines, they used to put pads on the muscles that they were treating. If they did that with the horses, then I'd be up for it. Using a whole hoop, I, I think it's just too general. Yeah, so it's a non-specific therapy. Um, I do like the idea of it, but only if it's been used specifically. It's sort of like handheld units. Like if you do a big massage unit, like a exercise, and you do something like that, too general, right? But if you do something like a handheld unit, then you can actually affect the muscles that need effect. Thank you. No worries. I'm not sure if that's going to be a popular response to someone who obviously, you know, I've seen two people that um, actually sell exercises, but, you know, that I think it's a non-specific therapy, and then I'll find out that they're actually green beans so I'll get Christian to answer that in a little bit once he's finished um, can, once he's finished no, treating uh, okay can Christian feel sore points like are there lumps that he needs to massage out no so when you people think about knots like they're just spasms um, people rub out knots it's no such thing as a knot in a muscle um, so um, no I'm just releasing spasms or, or you know does that answer it? No, sure. I For those who were here, when she, we started, when I touched her here, she shot up. Um, you can see that there's absolutely no sensitivity there. It's still a little bit rigid. She holds herself rigid, but you know, that's all right. We're, we're happy for her not to be sore. Oh, so many big words in this question. Oh, Jeepers, here we go. Would this help nuchal bursitis? Is this myofascial release? It is kind of my, myofascial release, sorry. Uh, would this help nuchal bursitis? Uh, I don't think bursitis is something that I would probably use um, soft tissue therapies for. Oh, there's lots of hearts going up. Thank you guys, keep that, keep hitting the likes for sure. Are you giving them? Carrots. Carrots. <laughs> Carrot. Giving carrots. Carrot. Uh, uh, I'd have to have a look at that. Oh, you're getting too many more. Yeah, sorry. I'll get back to you. Yeah. Almost 10 p.m. in Ontario, Canada. Have a good day and thank you for your great live. Thanks, Green Beans. Thank you. Claire, Adele, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Not arguing with his concepts, but Fez is very specific. It's not like the magnetic or tense oh, yeah, unit. Cool. Okay, yeah, cool, yeah, cool. Exactly yep. Fair call. Cool. 
Sorry. Yeah, no, that's really cool. I don't know what it is, so I was trying to work out exactly what it is. Any type of um, like electromagnetic pulse therapy or magnetic therapy or that, that that's specific, I love. I think, you know, um, I just didn't know if it was like a broad broad thing or not. That's why I was asking. I wasn't familiar with it, so I didn't mean to be... Um, didn't mean to rubbish whatever it was that you were uh, that's okay. doing. I'm just letting you know what's straight in my brain. So. Love your work, my horse. Loves getting this type of treatment. Thanks, Jade. Thank you, though. Thanks, Claire. No, thank you. Oh, yeah, no. Maybe we'll have a look at what that is in more depth. Yeah, absolutely. Question, how do you tell their... How do you tell they're sore or tense, and how do you make it look so easy to fix? Oh, because it is easy to fix. Um, <laughs> no. um, how do I... So, I know that she's tense. I know that she's... a. Uh, uh, she's tense, but I'm looking for, if I go to this area, hang on. so this is tense, this is her just going, leave me alone, that is a sore reaction, right? So the difference is, I can feel her tightening up her whole neck because she wants me to piss off, or you can see that that's actually a sore muscle because she's like, so it, it's all in the um, involuntary spasm when I roll over particular muscles as opposed to her just not wanting me to be there, it just has a different reaction yep and you guys can go and check out christian's website where you can see how to check your own learn how to check your own horse Absolutely. there'll be a lot more information on that. reactions and sore spots yep. and muscles what kind of course to learn this Nine when i ride it uh, i think they're asking what kind of course how did you learn so oh, combination um it's 25 years of doing this yep. mostly um as I said, my only qualification is Bowen therapy for humans. I transferred that over to dogs and rescue animals to start with. Then I transferred it over to horses and then I started just doing my own thing. So it's just a whole long time of doing this. Tabby Joe, they usually arch their back down or twitch. Yeah, they do in some spots. Yeah. Uh, have you ever worked on reining horses? Yeah, I have. Cutting and reining horses, absolutely. Um, again, usually... Um, up around the mouth and also hamstrings, some pelvic stuff. In cutting, there's a lot of pelvic stuff. Do you ride horses, <coughs> says Cato Potato. I've ridden four horses in my life. I'm very proud of it. Not going to get on another one either. So no, um, I like the puzzle. So I, I, I often say I like the furry puzzle. It's, I like the puzzle. I love them like this. I don't want to be on one. Do you, you work on thoroughbreds? Right. Yes. we. I've just been doing that all morning. Yeah, absolutely we have. Thanks for sharing. Thank you, Ronas. Thanks for watching. Not last night. And then she ran something while we were away. Oh. She won around the second. Oh, she was caught again, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. She's a trial. She's out with death too, mind you. Very? The breeze, yeah. All right. She's got beat in the final, but she won the heat. So she's... And you can see why they go sore, though. Can't oh, you? Just, you know, like I said, especially as we like, especially now, like when it's wet, they're starting to yeah. really have to pull. Yeah. And so they're not they're they're using their body not the way they should. Yeah. So all of a sudden, all these fronts, like I was saying to Mick with his, it's like your fronts are sore. Everyone's yeah. front is sore um, because they're just having to pull because they can't get they can't get footing with their hind legs, so they're just pulling through the front. Do you ever feel drained after treating horses, Christian? Used to. Why? I'm just, uh, wondering, just are someone's you asking, just no. Are they Sandy, asking? Sandy's asking. Sandy, yeah. So when I first did this, I think I could treat three horses and then I'd fall asleep. Um, it's amazing how it does. It can drain you. I think I've just built a resilience, and I just it just does not happen. Um, I can I can do 14 hours of treating, and I get home, and I'm more pumped at the end of the day than when I started. Now, so it kind of I, I must be sucking from them now rather than them sucking from me. So, like you know, I figure they got more to give than I do. That's why you need your medical tequila and beer to go tequila to sleep again. And beer at the end of the day is very helpful. Yeah. Andy says, thanks for sharing. Thanks for watching, Andy. Oh, yeah, thanks for being here and doing it. Hi, Kyra. Hi, Kiana.
Oh yeah, I know, she's an interesting woman. Yeah. Uh, uh, So the, for the per huh? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, right. So for the person who was asking about the sensitivity, now that's the same neck muscle as before, and you can see that that's gone. So, whereas she will still brace herself, so she's still holding herself. I see. She's still holding herself, but the actual spasms are gone. But it's a matter of feel, right? You learn, like I've, I do this all day, every day, I know <coughs> the difference in feel. Like I said, if you're checking the two things that are going to set you off, right? if you check a horse in the sun, because the heat will make them twitch in areas that they shouldn't, and if you're doing a wet horse, because your finger will skip over the horse, and so you'll get an incorrect breathing as well. So try not to treat or check a wet horse. Don't treat a horse or check a horse in the sun. You're just going to be running blind. So best places like this, like, you know, in the shade. Nice, nice day in the shade. Jade, he's, uh, Christian is based on the Mornington Peninsula in Melbourne, Victoria. So but not taking any clients. But not taking on any clients, unfortunately. Unless a billionaire sends a jet. Spread the word. Thanks so much. Uh, anyway, i got to go. Jesus save Jesus. I don't know how to pronounce that name. I think it's Jesus saves a, a saw. Anyway, Jesus thank you. Thank you for your help. You yeah, but it's not written like that. Oh. Hope you'll work out. Enjoy your workout. Everything I don't know, I've helped with later. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I think that's the lady who was trying to help with the TikToks. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much. Holistic healing, question mark? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sure. For sure. Holistic, energetic, whatever you want. Yeah. Cassidy, thanks. It's, um, I don't know what time it is. Is it midday? Something. Yeah, it's mid. Uh, it's midday, Cassidy. <laughs> You're getting a lot better. I mean, aside from the deciding to jump up when we first started. Good television, though. Good television. Mm. Yeah. I won't see it. And I was eating a donut while I was doing it. <laughs> Come visit us in the States, I'll set you up a clinic. Yeah, right. Well, we definitely need messages from you. Could you send us with that email? Yeah. Uh, Kato Potato, if you can hear me, can you please email us? Uh, do you want it to yours or the show? I do the show. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So, Kato Potato, if you can email, shoot Christian an email at the Langada Equine Show. Langada. Langada. The Langada Equine Show at gmail.com um, with what you can do. Are and you looking we'll... at yours? Is that why you. you... <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah oh, she's fine. Just the front. They're all doing fronts at the moment because the weather is wet. The same as your else. That's so cool. It's. You're in New South Wales, right, Smoky, 10 a.m. Hang on, there we go. Yeah, so, Kato, also, yeah, hope you got that. The, the or the, depending on where you're from, the Langada Equine Show at gmail.com. Email us about the horse clinic. 11.56 uh, a.m. I'm in New South Wales. I'm um, Sandy. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Sandy. Sandy was saying, was asking whether this holistic. She said, yes, I didn't want to say as people think it's woo-woo. Oh, you know what? Like, so, so osteopathy, um, sacral cranial osteopathy, uh, network chiropractic, all that sort of stuff. I mean, like, it's all kind of energetic, right? It's sort of like, um, if you want to add Reiki, there's a whole bunch of stuff. 
um, we're just initiating a response in the muscle. I can show you before, like I do in my videos, and after, I'm initiating a response and releasing the muscle. You can be next to me and check it before and after. Doesn't matter what I do or how I do it or what my beliefs are. Um, you can check it before and after. It's going to be fixed. So, um, so call it whatever you like. You know, I mean, I, I I don't worry about what it is anymore. I don't like to um, label label it because people. If you, if I say oh, I'm a chiropractor, people will go oh, I don't really believe in chiropractic. If I say I'm a bone therapist, people go, oh, I'm not really a bone therapist, I don't believe in that. Whereas if I just say I just fix muscles, how can you not believe in that? So, um, and you can see that I just fix muscles. That's what I do. Um, it will eventually be named after me, I guess, like the Langadam method, I don't know what. Um, but that's, you know, it's, um, I can teach it. I can, I can teach people how to fix muscles and I can check it let them treat it and check that it's fixed afterwards as well. So there's nothing to believe and nothing to not believe. Like I fix muscles, that's what I do. There's nothing to believe about it. It's so um, so um, I, am I into the weirdness? Absolutely I am. The more subtle, the better. Um, I've had the, one of the most amazing healings or, or, or body work I've had was with someone who was doing crystal dowsing for Christ's sake. So um, did I believe in it beforehand? No. Did I after? Absolutely. So I like all the subtle things. I like the weirdness. I like reading about the weirdness. I like reading about weird healers, all that sort of stuff. That's my bag. And you know, that's what it looks like. So Sandy says, thank you. Totally understand this now. Love it. Been experiencing with my own, but wanted to take it further. Mia says, just, I just witnessed you watching it doing from watching you do it from beginning to end. Yeah, yeah absolutely. it's totally a real thing. Yeah, Even I had my suspicions. Who? You? Or? Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were reading something. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Um, and that's the, uh, oops. Uh, that's the thing about it. There's, uh, you know what? I, I mostly treat for male trainers. You saw Jim Mason earlier. Now, Jim Mason is not the type of guy that if I was full of shit, that he would keep getting me back. I've been there for about hmm, 12 years. So I've been treating their horses almost every week for 12 years kind of wouldn't be doing that if I was full of shit. Um, lots of, like, King of Dubai, treated for them. Wouldn't be doing that if I was full of, like, so, I, it, you know what? Um, as I said, that's why I show on the TikToks, show before and after, and show that it's fixed after. Because the other thing that happens is people say, oh, but I've got a real problem. Um, or, or if I showed soreness, people are like, oh, you can't just fix that by massage. And then I prove that you can. So it just stops people from thinking that their horse has got more of a problem than it actually has. So, uh, Strudel, I can answer that for you. If um, if Strudel. anything if anything is done, um, it will be on uh, and you can't attend in person. It would be it would end up on Christian's uh, YouTube channel. So obviously you you already follow here on TikTok, but Christian's YouTube channel is Langada Equine or YouTube you know YouTube slash at Langada Equine. So um, anyone who wants to see anything that they can't catch live. YouTube Everything else. On the, the YouTube is on oh yeah, there's also a link in the bio. Yeah, so jump over there and give us a give him a follow, give him a follow and a subscribe because everything will eventually end up over there on the YouTube's um, after it's after it's been done live. Yeah. Snow White Mama, thank you. Enjoyed this. Gonna meet Kentucky Bourbon lovers and if horses top that will send that your way. Yeah, absolutely. How long does a release usually last? Forever. Forever. Until re-injured. Until re-injured. If they re-injure it, then there's nothing. Or if there's an underlying thing, then it's going to come back because it's um, compensation for something. Are the forms... Your, do you guys mean the forms that he's using now for his admin? These? As in yeah. his... So these are... Are the forms you use on your website? No. No. No, this is what he... I can put them up there, though. I'm happy to put it up. Um... If you think it's if you think it's worthwhile, I can put it up and free to print. I really don't care. I'm not trying to. They're really basic. This, um, is, this is for the trainers. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what? So the they trainers. know what you did. And then what happens is after the trainers, then I take coming Michelle. Um, then I take what I do is I file them. Um, there are different ways that I file them. Um, I, I put them in a file. I also use Evernote to file them as per like in stables 
But so I've always got like everything, Chris Kelthorpe, Artie, fourth and third, all the stuff that happened with that horse. So I draw the muscles, write what the muscles were, and if it fixed up all right, if it was a full treatment, a spot treatment, etc. So that's... There we go. That's what they are. Once again, we've come Ooh. to the admin portion of Christian's no, TED not. Talk. We've come to the no. treatment portion. We're over treatment again. Oh, that's a pretty horse. Thanks, Michelle. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm just talking to people. Oh, Michelle, oh sorry. sorry. Michelle. Both two Michelles? Yeah. That's weird. Is this a standard bread? It is a standard bread, a very big one. I was going to say. It's, it's, a, it's crossed with a tidy. Uh, not really. It's actually a standard bread, but like, yeah. What are the brands? Can you explain the brands on Yep, so the stuff? brands, so S is Victoria. Yep. And then these symbols here translate through to numbers. Yeah, right. And then when we oh, go right. into our registration, it tells us. You can actually enter it into the website, but yeah. for us, it just tells us there. You put it in. How big is this boy? Hey? Six hundred kilos. Six hundred kilos. Six hundred kilos. So when you trans <laughs> standard green. when you translate it into here, it, yeah. S is for your Victoria, yeah. and then it's a whole lot of numbers, yeah. and that's their freeze brand. All right, yeah. That's their ID. Yep. Um, from here to year of birth onwards, they've been microchipped, which is a new thing. Oh, yeah, in good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Are they, they branding and microchipping? So or as just... of this year, they've stopped branding. Yeah, cool. And they're only microchipping, so you won't yeah. get brands on standard breads anymore. Oh, there you go. Are they doing that with thoroughbreds? Run them well, under a scanner. Yeah. Don't know. So, um, yeah, but the standard breads, as of this, so anything born late last year, yeah. in onwards. Sorry, you're up, change sides on you. Um, yeah, you're right. Why have a brain? Cool, okay, good to know. Yeah. That's interesting. But yeah. Oh. Big boy. How are yeah. we going? Any questions? Can't fit him all in the shot. No, uh, my brother brings a lady who does this on his pack horses. It's amazing to watch in person. Ooh. So another horse with nothing going on. Um, so like I said, everyone seems to think that every horse would be sore. Not the case, right? But, I mean, you see, this is like the fourth time you've treated him. Yeah, exactly. Track, so you see, you see Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So kind, isn't it? I know. Sweet. He doesn't understand this. Yeah. 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 Ye
doesn't understand. He doesn't understand that he can't wear racing shoes because they don't make them big enough for him. Yeah. So he wears warm blood shoes. Oh really? Oh wow, really. They don't make race shoes big enough no, for him? Have to make them. Does that mean he's bigger than a normal race horse? Yeah. Bigger wow. Than, yeah, than really? Like the big thoroughbreds out there is big, but Sandy's have bigger feet. Like you wouldn't right, really right. Have a thoroughbred with that. Okay. And being a trotter, he's more round. Got it. Yep. As well. Cool. Nothing. Sorry. Well, that's. that's Free, free treatment. Free, what do you want? Free treatment. Free treatment. <laughs> Absolutely does. Slight Olivia. Who was the other one? The naughty one. Yeah. Quick bit of admin. Thank you for the applauds, the finger applauds. Oh, That's what we're calling likes. likes. Thank you. Tap tap tappy tappy. <laughs> we call them. We call them finger applauds. <coughs> oh, man. I need a treatment. Applause is appreciated. There we go. Thank you. Hey, we've even beaten the last live. Oh why? What is it? What are we at? Eighteen and a half. Eighteen and six. And a half Maybe we can make 20,000 on this one. That'd be amazing. Is there any relief with your practice in arthritic knees? <laughs> yeah, right. I will hide. You can hide. I, my practice is arthritic to hide. knees. Yeah. Knees? Knees. 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 I usually, they inject them or I like uh, rapid gel or icing them after work. Kyle, you got two? Just doing that and um, is that the first one? Who is it? Sorry? This is the longest I've watched a TikTok live. Thanks oh, for really? all the great info. Oh, Good night. <laughs> Thanks, Nico, Minsa. We've got 18,000. This is the second one we've done this morning because we, we got shut down. We got shut down because we were driving. And so it shut us down. We and didn't know you weren't allowed like to drive. 18,000 likes. And then we started again. We've got another 18,500 likes so far. So just crack 19. Like, Thank you, everyone. Anyone likes. want shares in a race horse? Anyone <laughs> want shares? Here you go. Does anyone oh, want here, shares here in a race horse? We, got, we have awesome. a commercial. Anyone want shares in a trotter or a peso? Here's Kyle. <laughs> Where do they contact you? Give out the Facebook page. Go ahead. Uh, it's Kyle Marshall Racing. There we go. Uh, you got to go to Scott Newman as well. You can't just be Kyle. Let's let punch it on in the stable. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, so this is the thing, right? So you're checking out people that have this sort of work done. So obviously they care about their horses. I had said the same about Yorel and also later on Shane Nichols. So these guys look after their horses. So, you know, if I was going to choose someone um, to uh, like buy shares in a horse, which I would want to be choosing someone that does this sort of stuff for their horse. So, you know, um, so fair point, right? Yeah. Thanks, Scott. 20. Already? Yep. Are you serious? It's, it just yeah. hit 1,000 in that short period of time. Yep. Fuck me. I mean, <laughs> less than three minutes, it's like 1,000 people liking it. Yeah? Crazy. You're just a likeable kind of guy. Oh, I'm a likeable yeah. kind of guy. <laughs> so are you, apparently. Didn't you say that's the... Just up front. Front of the tracks from the usual form of their fronts at the moment. It's the same guy as it, um, like a sort of Dean Brawns and um, Joe Paces. They're all up at the moment, they're all up front because they can't get footing. Yeah. So they just. Yeah, it's just lugging like different names. Oh man, as soon as. Uh, which one? Place. Oh, Place, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. So, okay. And Tara as well. Tara, as soon as I touched it there, it, it, she just boom, shot up. But she's fine after fine food front. She didn't care. <laughs> she's lovely. She, 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 she was proper sore. She was good after though. She, she after. Oh yeah, no, she was fine. She's <laughs> lovely. Are you free her up with the laser way and she told Barrow to put the wool up there there? No, really? Yeah. Oops. Sorry. Free something up. You didn't see it when she first done the treatment. 
Yeah. Just read it out. Just read it out. Right out there. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yep. Good job, George. Uh, <laughs> 75. Oh, oh. Doing deals. Last race day start was August last year. Oh wow, okay. Yeah. How did his trial go? Good, he just uh, he needed it. Oh, yeah. was that out of Melton? Yeah. Where everyone was trialing? Yeah, cool. Because I, I missed, well, like I said, I saw Joe Pace and Dean Broad. Oh, and yeah. And they were, they were out there trialing as well, I believe. So he looks nice. Yeah. Good. He's a good looking horse. Yeah, he's got a couple of runs to go. Does he? Thinks he's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm so awesome. You got a bit of a beard going on, mate. No, like you know, you might wear a tiny hat. Growing it out. Hey, growing it out. Got a goatee. Getting my beard early. <laughs> <laughs> What's his race name? Son of Matt. Son. Of Son oh, so his name is Matt. Stable name Luca. We're treating him. Huh? Okay. Yeah, right. So this is a Colt, um, son of Mac, um, or Mac. Um, he's apparently quite a good horse. Um, well, we're praying anyway. And like, <laughs> like Kyle said, if anyone needs like parts of a horse, just give him a yell. But anyway, um, he, he's, he is a Colt. He looks like a Colt with his like hairstyle. Isn't he? um, we're through the front as normal, like we all saw through the front because of the wet ground. But he's also got a little bit in the rear as well. So we're going to treat the whole lot of him. So while we're treating, do you have any questions? Um, if I can't answer them, Kyle can. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my typical day, right? It does not stop. It's like horse after horse after horse after horse. Like, this is how it works. This is how it goes. So, <clears throat> again, like, another trainer, like, you know, mostly guys that I work for, um, and even the women that I work for, no one's going to use someone like me if it doesn't work, right? So, um, and as you'll see time and time again, I will get rid of all this sort of stuff. I'll get rid of that, no worries. Um, and this thing can be the superstar that it's meant to be, rather than being restricted by sore muscles. So, here we go. All right. Here Matt go. Matt would like to know something that I would also like to know. Oh. Is this the horse that he's that you're selling shares in? Oh, no, it's not. No. Right, no. see? And how much is what a share? Kyle, give us. Kyle will take us away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this, is, this isn't the one. The, uh, I'm a Trinity just sort of have, have shares a uh, yearling sales. And so we go to uh, Melbourne sales this weekend, and um, we look to look at the yearlings and um, pick out pick out the ones that attract to us and um, yeah look to purchase that horse and, and shares a, a sort of accommodated at all costs um, onto the percentage of how much you want want in that horse. And how do people find out well, like what what horses are on offer and all that sort of stuff? Is that through the Facebook yeah, page or website yeah, or through the Facebook so I'll look to go to sales and hopefully Hopefully, you get a couple that I like, and, and then they'll pop up on the Facebook yeah, okay. or, um, or my monthly email. So. All right, perfect. We're, yeah, we're on Facebook and Kyle Marshall Racing. So, so head over yeah. there and subscribe. Is there an email you can sign yourself up for the newsletter? Yeah, we'll just, on just yeah, on there. And, um, yeah. But it is, it's a good. It's my partner Sophie, she, she posts a few videos and when we're racing too, and, and just the horses that are doing their daily task of work and whatnot so there's a few good videos and whatnot on that amazing yay here we go so excited to watch again all right is this here we go 
Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And the horse is not quite fit. So you can tell again. Like I say, you can tell the, the trainers that I work for, like, they look after their horses, right? Yes. So, he's know, very shiny. And he's a cult. Uh, just curious, says Tess Min. I assume that's maybe Tess. What's the most horses you've ever treated in a day? Do you remember? I will. Nah, um, no, I don't. Um, I will get close to. Today I'll get close to 30. Usually, fully treating um, 12 is usually a good day. In the race tables, when it's like this, when it's frantic. Um, is usually about 25 to 35. So um, so this will be a good solid day. Plus, um, trying to film while we're doing it. I mean, we've done five here, we did 12 at URL. That's 17. I'll do easily 12 at Chain Nichols, and then I've got a couple at the end. Um, so that's gonna be 35 today, 30 to 35 today. No worries. Um, and like I said, I used to get tired treating, um, like energetically drained. Uh, it just does not happen anymore. So, yeah. There we go. I don't know what the record is. How are we going with the likeies? Likeies are at 21,100. 21, um, that really, like we said, that really helps us get onto other people's For You pages. Um, hopefully, if you're sharing this with people or just share my site with, uh, sorry, my uh, 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 account my account with people um good boy um that just really helps we're, we're trying to get the old people from the other tiktok site onto here so um we're missing america he's going well how are you good he's a dude he's cool eh? so cool he's very picky yeah well kyle said about shares everyone wanted to buy shares in him does liver mole give a horse a good coat yes Yes, that was easy to answer. Hey America, hey Mia. Oh. Hi America, whereabouts in America? Christian wants yeah, to know. I'd like to know where in the States you're from. Kellogg says hi from Aberdeen, Scotland. Scotland, hey. you used to be asleep. Hello Kellogg. You should be asleep. You're right. What are you doing? It's like two o'clock in Scotland. What's the time there? <laughs> Mia's in Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida. Florida. Florida be nice. Summer's just starting, getting ready for summer. Autumn Chambers is in Tennessee, Autumn Knoxville, Chambers, Tennessee. That's an American name. Yeah, isn't Autumn it? Chambers. Knox, Tennessee. Hi. Axel, hi from Tassie. Hey, oh, Axel. Hey. Michigan, US of A. Oh, see, all the pe all the Americans, please share it to your American friends because at my last my last TikTok had sixty percent of my viewers were in the states, and this time round, this new one, since my other one got hacked. I've got nowhere near that, so I'm missing the states. I really want you guys to kick in. So Mount Eliza. Mount Eliza. Mount Eliza. Who? Apple user four nine two. Who da, is da, it? Da, da, da. So who's in Mount Eliza? Is it someone we know? Someone we know. It's got to be. Camellia VA. Well. Oi, oi, it's 321. Yeah. Says Kellogg's in uh, Scotland. in Scotland. So wow. I assume that's go AM. No, you can't <laughs> go to bed. You've you got insomniac. You've got Mars bars to deep fry. <laughs> Hi from Western Australia. Hi, Hi Lena. Whereabouts in Western Australia? Norway here. Angel of Healing Norway. in Norway. Norway is too late too. What are people doing? Like either you're getting up early or I don't know. What are you doing? South Carolina. Nashville. All right, can, I want to show you. Sorry. Yep. Up. Hang on. Right. Back to business. I, I love. I love that we're doing that. Here's a pelvis. This is a, like so. This is a beautiful cult. Um, but, Here's the pelvis, right? I'm going to do something that's a bit weird. You're going to think it's a bit cruel, but this is, that's a bone, right? That's a pelvis. Don't treat that. But what happens is that is an attachment for a whole bunch of different muscles, right? So in a pelvic, if you've got a horse that can't stretch its hind legs out properly, here's some education for you, is there's three parts of the mu of this pelvis, that are inner pelvis, that are muscular. You've got longissimus, which is this long muscle here, attaches into the top of the pelvis. So often... Yeah, so often if I get a dip there, I will be treating that. Obviously, obviously it's sensitive in him. Don't do that with a colt, you'll get yourself hurt. Almost got kicked three times now in my lifetime. 
the next one, I'll do it this way, this is much better. The next one is pelvic obliques. They go from like the centre part of the pelvis, they go through the ribs. And then the last one, which we showed earlier today, is tensor fasciolate, which is down here. And I treat that just at the bottom of that pelvis. That's where the attachment is, and it goes through here, it goes through into the stifle as well. So, I'm going to treat this one, but not get my computer. Uh-uh, Or bitten. Or bitten. What that does is it frees up the groin right up there and they get in comments. Yeah. <laughs> Alex can't sleep. New Zealand, Kalgoorlie. Wow. Hey. It's a secret uh, Apple user in Mount Eliza. It's a secret who that <laughs> is. Do we know them? Uh, I'm, guess, you, I'm, I'm guessing know them? so. Huh? I'm guessing so. Yeah. happening. Yeah. Cool. You're a bit grumpy, buddy. She's poking me. Stop poking me. It's for your own good. You just jumped. <laughs> hey, me? Someone said, I just jumped. <laughs> you just jumped. Yeah, oh. Christian's jumped. I'm from, I'm, right the I'm from Bribey Island, love your work. Oh, thank Amazing. You. Cheryl in Queensland, g'day Cheryl. Such a handsome horse, he sure is. Absolutely incredible. Mm -mm. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey. Hello, mate. Another good looking one. <coughs> <coughs> what? Right. Right. So these, just so you guys know, these. This is where it's going to it's going to end in about the next horse. That's the last horse that we're going to be doing, and then we'll be um, shutting down for the day. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed it. So we we still got don't still got another one to do. Cheeky. One Cheeky. and a half to do. You're a bit naughty. Right. You off. See ya. See Thank ya. You. Take care. See you soon. See you next week. Yeah. Well, yeah. Wednesday. Wednesday next week. 25,000. Thank you, everyone. You That's amazing. It's insane. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. Like I said, the more you like it, the more it goes up to other people's for you pages, the more I can get the numbers that I was getting before it got my TikTok got stolen. And the more um, we can educate, the more we can help people. And hopefully this is, like I said, interesting for everybody, you know. So um, I love it. So keep, keep hitting the likes, keep doing all that stuff, keep sharing it. I think it's absolutely awesome. I really appreciate it. Um, I've been doing this anyway, but it's so cool to know that I'm doing it and I'm, so many people are checking it out. So absolutely love it. Thank you. Um, 
So, um, as I say, this is uh, half of this horse to go on one over here, depending on what's going on with it. I don't know if there is anything or not. Um, it is your last opportunity while you got me live and we're hanging out um, to ask any questions. Tell me where you're from, tell me what horses you ride, whatever. Um, and I'll try not to get myself hurt by this guy. He can... Thanks, Michelle. That would be amazing. Uh, RJ, RJ. GTL says your routine on the back slash spinal muscles just palpate or checking for soreness on different layers? Uh, what I'm doing when I'm checking, I'm opening up long isthmus, but I'm also looking at muscular attachments. Any, um, when I roll, when I actually the first put my foot down, I'm looking for any, uh, any flinches that give me an indicator of um, muscular attachments. So, by where it flinches, this is how why you get onto the website. There's like about 12 or so things just in the back that I'm looking for as far as spasms go, and they determine what sort of attachment, which means which muscle is actually sore. So that's what I'm doing. I, I run my finger down the back, look for the twitches, and then determine which muscle it is from those twitches. Um, so then I go around and check all the different muscles. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Good. Now, I've, I've watched hundreds of this today. Yeah. What's with this? Impatience. That's impatience? Yeah, being impatient. Being Is it bad for, their, bad for their feet or shoes? Because you always... Oh, yeah, on the concrete it's not good because you're wearing out the shoes as well. Stop them. It's just them complaining. Right. So you're just being saying, impatient. you're just Even saying, hey, calm down. Their, back to their stable, back to their food. So that's... Hello. Hey, hey, hey. He wants to walk. Is probably molasses in the water. Right. <laughs> right. So uh, this is the yawning thing, right? Now, if we're talking to people that think about relief, he'll do a chain of them. If we're talking about people that, good boy, that are like releases or like talking about releases, we just had a couple of yawns, we had a shake, all that sort of stuff. So which part of my treatment that I did today um, gave him that release? So that's why I say, like, just because he's yawning doesn't mean I fix the whole horse. Um, and like I said, he'll do a whole bunch of those while we going on. Don't. Guys, just, they just took it 5,000 up to 30. They just, did, they just hit 30. 30,000 likes. In the, last, in the last sort of minute or so. When I said it was 25, yeah. uh, Michelle, someone said, let's go for 30, and we just cracked 30. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Thank you. Um, do the things you do to horses work on humans to relieve tension, yes, pain, etc.? I don't treat humans. That's yes. The next no. Yes treat, not and no. Not treating any dogs. <laughs> Thanks, yes. Michelle. How cool is that? I'll get up to 30. And so get amazing. Time. Craziness. 31. <laughs> What's going on? This is crazy. I love it. A thousand in a minute. Um, yeah, even the horse is happy about a, it. That's a cult. He's a cult. He's a boy. He's sniffing for women. He's sniffing for fillings. Yep. 32. <laughs> Guys, like thank you. You're going to see. You. Someone's going silly. Someone's going to break their finger. Go Canada. I will be your tapper. Thanks, Kellogg's. You guys are amazing. Go Canada. Go Canada. Go Canada. <laughs> yeah. Could your type of work help arthritic knees on a gelding? I'm desperate for any release relief for him. Yeah. Could do, but, but I would be going for a, an arthritis supplement, something like either glucosamine, chondroitin, fish oil, like whatever you got. We use rose hip here as well. Um, so I would go for a, it absolutely would open up the muscles, but you also want to make sure that you look after the joint. So you look for a joint supplement. Speak to a naturopath or a naturopathic vet or someone similar, and they'll be able to help you with that sort of stuff. Amazing, there you go. Yeah. Thank you, Trina, thank you. Hello, Sammy. Hello to everyone in Canada. Thanks for following. Thank you for liking. Linda says, thank you. Thank you. No worries. Thank you for watching everyone and, yeah, I, I and questioning and interacting. Christian yeah, like is loving it. I can't believe so many people are actually watching, but I, I love the interaction. That's my... 
Kebun. Hai. Hai. I feel like there's a good chance you might see Christian die as well. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of the therapy treatment you are doing? It's mine. It's, it's his. It's the Langeda Equine <laughs> Method. Uh, it's Langeda soft Langeda. tissue, equine soft tissue therapy yeah. by Christian Langeda. That's it. Are you going live more now? Michelle, we are trying a whole bunch of different things. Yeah. Um, Maybe do something like sort this of once Stay month. tuned. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So some happy of them to be make it easy. Yeah, I've seen and some of them don't. So happy to be here. It's so interesting. Thanks, Kellogg's. Oh, thanks. It's we really appreciate you all um, being here as well. Cool. Right. He was fun. He was fun, he's all done. Yeah, he's all done. Back to the uh, notes. There we go. Back to the notes. And then notes there's and one, more. one more. So notes and questions. Is it similar to Bowen therapy? Yes. Well, it's, um, uh, it's uh, influenced by... Influenced, influenced by, by Bowen therapy, yes. Well, I would ask everyone to tap the like button while Christian does his homework, but um, you, I'm, I'm worried for all of your fingers now. Um, you guys have done so awesome with that. Thanks so much. 38, 38.8 thousand. No. I was going to say let's hit 40, and I was just mucking around. Oh, uh, Kyle. What did you rub on that horse somewhere that's like... Oh, just quite here, Lee. It's just got a little bit of... Is there of, something uh, like um, deep heat or something you put on? Oh, it's more... Uh, I want to know what... what oh, have you got it on you? Something that'll sting my eye when I touch your horse and rub my eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's 53>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Susan. Hey. Thanks for the gifts, everyone. No Thanks worries. so much. Thanks, <laughs> Hi, Deb. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, 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 it's called Cause Mag. Cause Mag. Yeah, I'll screw it Magnesium powder. I've got oh, 20 kilos on it, yeah. yeah. Just take a bit. He's got 20 kilo. You only need two grams. Um, oh, 20 grams. Just a small scoop. Yeah, that's what I have. Daily. Yeah, 20 grams. Daily. Christian's just writing a prescription here at the moment. No, I'm not a bit. <laughs> It's a, it's, a, it's a mineral. Thank you. It's magnesium. It comes from the ground. Deb says hi and how are you? Hi, how do, you do, do we know Deb? Don't know. Over 40k now. Thanks, Lena. Thank oh, you. Oh, Thanks to everyone. So fucking crazy. All right. Got that a couple of questions. Less than, a 10,000 just happened in less than five minutes. Amazing. It's off its tree. Natalie says, hello, my horse has a thigh has a thigh hip or maybe a tight hip oh, has a tight hip what can i do oh, to you help you just been watching the pelvic one that i did on that last horse showing all the different muscles um no, it's going to be in the pelvic muscles or the psoas you can go to my website and learn how to diagnose that um it's cheap to sign up to my website um go and check that there's lots of videos there's all sorts of stuff there. yeah and then plenty of videos on the uh on the TikToks and yeah. on the uh, yeah, YouTubes you could, as well, you if you can't. Through, or you can scan through all that. Yeah. The thing is, you can scan through it for free or you can go straight to the website. Yeah. And by paying a little bit, you can actually have a structured version of it. But all the information is on all the videos. Absolutely. It'll just get really messy. Do you own horses yourself and what breeds? No, I don't. But my wife rides a Warmblood. She owns and wife rides a Warmblood. Um, I don't have any horses myself. Ranch Girl 406, thanks for watching. And I says, I have learned so much from watching your videos. Thanks for sharing your knowledge. Oh, so welcome. Natalie says, great, will do, awesome. So we got one more, guys, and then we're going to... One more um, horse and we're done. We're going to call it before my arm and shoulder <laughs> drops off. Um, but thank you so much for watching. And any other questions in the next five or ten minutes? Christian would love to answer. Absolutely. This is a cat, not a horse. Hey. Pretty cat. Hey guys. See you mate. Thanks Michael. Hello from the Goulburn Valley. Oh yeah. This is me rushing my notes. Christian will fix your shoulder. No, he won't. No, he won't. No, he won't. <laughs> no, he won't. He won't. Don't do that to me. No, it's he not won't. Um, <laughs> uh, he was Mac. 
Krista would like to know, yeah. it's just a hypothetical, if you had only one thing that you could look at on each, on every horse, yeah. so if you only had the time to look at one thing, what would you look at? Oh. A Pandora's box. Correct. Oh. Pandora's box, then I could treat about eight different muscles. Yep. Pandora's box, check out Christian's website to see what that is if you don't know. I'm at work eating lunch while watching this. Thanks, Sarah Louise. There's the notes. So I just draw all the different muscles that were sore, write down the muscles, whatever, notes for the trainer, how I treated, who the person is, who the horse is. Easy, really simple. Um, take a photo, file it online. Da -da -da -da. There we go. <laughs> um, Natalie, you know full well it's not the pole. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Thanks, Tess. That's amazing. Please check that out. Enjoy it. <laughs> let's bring, him, let's bring him, a, a Philly in, in season in. Still can't put it there. Anjali or Angel? Uh, he doesn't. Christian's ridden four times in his life and there won't be another one. Christian's wife does all the riding for him. Just helping the. Yeah. Yeah. All right, last one, everyone. Here we go. What is it? Smoke and ace? Smoke and ace. What you up to? Uh, he tried yesterday too. How'd he go? Uh, really good. Good? Uh, yeah. He's, he's the other one. Do you have shoes in him? Uh, no, he came over from New Zealand. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. I was in, do you have shoes available? No. 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 Sure he's, no. he's keeping, all the, he's keeping all the good ones. Keeping the good ones? Yeah. Like, seriously, how's this guy? Maya, do you think you will make it out to the United States? Yes, that is an absolute given. Like I said, we, earlier in this thing, I said, if anyone uh, can tell, tell me, uh, we, have a, we have a thing like a, a fair called Equitana. It's sort of like the horse thing, like, you know, in Expo. A, um, whereby people present and do that from all around the world. I'd love to know which is the biggest horse fair of that sort of thing, or like, you know, it needs to be the biggest one. Um, in the States, and I'll try to get there for that. That's yeah. when I can start doing, maybe start talking about doing clinics, and that would be that would be a goal. So if we knew um, who that was, who we would talk to, etc., etc., I would definitely be going for it. And they would like to book Christian. They can do so well, if you know who it is. To, I can talk to them, and we yeah. can get a presentation thing going. Yeah, we could teach. Well, well the Americas, but it's never the pole. Midwest Horse Fair is one. Huh? Midwest Horse Fair is yep. one. Yep, cool. What was your first ever job and how did you make it to what you do now? Oh, my first ever job, I think, was packing shelves at a supermarket when I was 14, 12, 13. Um, before this, I was running nightclubs and bars. Um, then in 1999, I had a BMX accident, busted myself up, got fascinated in this sort of, in like soft tissue therapies, different types of therapies, and also decided that I wanted to work with animals. It started off as being behavioural training for dogs. It ended up fixing dogs and rescue animals, and then that ended up turning into fixing horses. Um, yeah, that's pro a very quick, short, 
pronounce it? Equine Affair, Columbus, Ohio. They also have it in Mass, which I assume is Massachusetts. Would love to see you in Ohio. Yeah. Equine Affair. We got it. So I, that's my phone, so I can't. Yeah. Got to write them down. This is very 70s of them. I'll go write on a piece of paper if you want. So Equine Affair, A-F-F-A-I-R-E, and the other one was Midwest Horse Fair is one. We'll have a Google of them and see if we can get in contact with someone, and thank you. We really need the biggest ones because they've got to um, pay, pay Christian's speaking fee and then fly him out, put him up, yada, 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 and you're looking at around ten to 15000 just to... You know, just to get it to happen, but just go back and watch your live. Yes, we could do that, Smokey. Thank you. You're right. Michigan <laughs> Michigan <laughs> Horse <laughs> Expo in oh. landing at MSU. Michigan Horse Expo in Lansing, Michigan. All right, all right. So there are big ones. Ooh. Quarter Horse Congress oh, okay. in Columbus, Ohio. All right. Yeah. If anyone wants to... Oh, yeah. $53,500. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, how is that possible? Thanks to everyone in the U.S. who's jumped on. The U.S. Oh, yeah, and so Canada has come is, through... This is I, why I'm, we should I've do been, six hour lives. I've been missing the US. So here is, and not that I, I love Canada, I love everything, but from the time that I first did a uh, YouTube video for myself, the US has embraced me like nothing else. It's been absolutely off its style, and they're all still on the old TikTok. So, how beautiful is this? Um, they're all still on the old TikTok. So, they're thinking, so I. I need you guys from the US to start sharing my stuff and let them know, let the people know who, like all 150,000 of them that are sitting on my other website, that I'm actually here. I'm still posting, I'm still trying to educate, I'm still trying to do stuff. And I definitely want to get out to the States. I absolutely adore the States. I've been there probably about six times. I'm not professionally, but I would love to come out and do this sort of thing. Um, I want to shake shit up a bit. I like it. I like the fact that it's an Australian doing leadership with horses going to America. It's an adventure. I'd love to come out and see you all. Um, and of course, if I'm going to go to the States, I'll definitely go up to Canada. Come to Kentucky, three day event in Lexington. Art by Ali, thank you so much. Um, she says, Little old me uh, from South Australia sitting here tapping away furiously at the tappy well button. Thanks, thanks <laughs> Ali. That's amazing. You guys are all amazing. Yes. Same here, hun. Trina. Yeah. So appreciate it. But it's been great because we started off with like Europe and we started Europe, with Africa. Netherlands, Netherlands, Africa, Ireland, England, Scotland. They've all gone to sleep and now we've got America, Canada. Yeah, amazing. And Australia's been hanging out the whole time. Fucking amazing. How are you? You had your hair cut. What are you doing? <laughs> giving you the big boys flavor today. Hey, I know, right? Yeah. This one's actually pretty good. Corey says, love this. Any tips you use for old fractures in legs to help with stiffness or soreness? Ooh. Movement. You know, old fractures is hard. Movement. Um, you know what? Uh, yeah. Um, any type of tenderness stuff or, or um, joint stuff, I always want to head towards a joint, joint supplement. Um, but also make sure that you always ice it. Feel if it gets warm. Because sometimes, even though they're fractures, like pelvises and withers, Excuse me, there's no soreness related to them, but if you have stiffness, and I would always ice after work, but I would also always try to keep moving it. So, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. You're still here, Kellogg's, thank you. I cannot, be, does it tell you who's the biggest, who's been the, who's the, Number one person. There. Uh, there's a bunch of number ones. So Susan oh, Whitson just became number 10th member of the team. Um, Suzanne is moving up the list. Trina, Trina, Art by Ali. So all these people are gifting and liking and it's amazing. Sorry, we still don't know, like, 
We got kicked off the live earlier because we didn't know you weren't allowed to drive um, <laughs> while live. Obviously, Christian wasn't driving. I was filming from the passenger seat. I but, was driving. So we're still... Oh, sorry. Christian was driving. I wasn't. And I was filming. Obviously, he wasn't filming, I should say. But we're still learning how the TikToks work. But Jeep is 50, heading for 57000 It's crazy. And thank you for the gifts. We know it means something. Yeah. We just... So here's the thing. Like, I keep saying... We just want you guys to um, keep smashing the likes, hitting the likes and hitting the shares because we want to get on as many uh, horsey and non-horsey for you pages just to sort of show people that this is the stuff that we do, that you I do, and that they can actually help their own horse. So the more you do it, the more it's going to get, I will be on other people's stuff. That's what we're trying to do. So you guys absolutely like smashing it, especially for the last horse, is, it means so much because we just want to get it. I want, well, obviously, I just want to educate as many people as possible, and doing this stuff absolutely helps. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Ali. We, yes, now now I know that. Yeah, pointed away from the dash, I know. Yeah. <laughs> just, thanks, Ali. I think I was, the Why second you, time it was just on, was trying it was just to tell on him. That, yeah, yeah. So what do you think is best for horse ulcers? Sorry, what? Best what do you for think? horse ulcers? Yes. Uh, actual ulcers, I would medicate. Any type of supplementation, you can use everything from slippery elm powder to banana powder to a whole bunch of different natural supplements. I don't think, if you've got a horse that's sensitive I, and like hypersensitive, then I would do normal medication, speak to you a bit. I'm not a fan of stroking. Like if you think that they've got ulcers, and I've got plenty of videos to show you how to check for ulcers, or you can go to my website, um, then just medicate. But after the medication, then supplement nicely for, with, there's a whole bunch of natural supplements, just like with people that you can actually do for um, uh, for uh, like irritated gut lining, etc, etc. Because it's not all ulcers. It like, can be just lesions or it can be just an annoyed stomach lining or it can be acidity, so acidosis. So for any of those, um, medicate properly, speak to your vet, then supplement afterwards and just make sure that you've got good gut biome, good gut health, etc. in your horse. Just because they're high sugar doesn't mean they're acidic doesn't mean that they're going to have ulcers or sort of like an enemy. Got it. Got it. That's you. 59,000. Oh, Unbelievable. You guys are incredible. Christian, do you have someone to do body work for your body? As a hair stylist, I must get body work. Oh, yeah, I get it. <laughs> I totally understand, right? Your hands would cramp up worse than mine. Um, yeah, i got a mate who's a sacral cranial osteopath that I use to help me out. Um, or I treat myself, but I'm not going to treat other people. I'll fix me, um, but I'm not going to fix other people. Thanks, Julie. Hey. Julia, sorry, Julia Bowen. Thank you. Hey. Tina, Krista, hi, hi, hi. Hey, how you going? We're on the last quarter. We're on the last quarter. Yeah, I need to get on my computer. Last horse. <laughs> last horse, last quarter. Oh, well, this has been fun, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Look, I'm making it look like the horse is sniffing up the um, likes. He's so ripped. Sniff, <laughs> sniffing all the likes up. Yeah, we didn't ace him. Or maybe I'll ace him before. <laughs> there we go. Christian, do you... Oh, no, we did that. Yep. Thanks, everyone. Oh, we've cracked 60. Well, well, I never. Well, I never. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you guys so much for your time. Yeah, absolutely. Great idea, Drew. Thanks, mate. Yeah, it's... Appeared to have worked. Um, yeah. Highlights from anyone that's watching? Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, um, TikTok tells you that in a report. It, 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 it will tell you what the highlights were out of the whole three hours because it'll tell you when the most people were. Oh, it's going to be this. I think it will be the end ones. I mean, it's been, <laughs> it's it's be been sort of 30,000. It's going to be the two cops at the end and people are going absolutely mental. Just yeah. Because we were on the second last one when I said it was 25, right? So yes. we've done yes. 35,000 likes in the last 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Never seen anything like it. No, neither. Signs of kissing spine besides the signs. Besides the... the signs of kissing spine besides the signs. Can you clarify that question, Leticia? I'm sorry if, you like, if you're not for English. For a while got, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show her. Like, I want this area and me though. Got it. Well. Got it. Um, so, 
really easy way to determine between muscle, saddle, kissing spine, right? If you've got muscle, if you push through here, you're going to have soreness. Sometimes that's going to be sore also with kissing spine because the muscles are going to go sore. How you tell the kissing spine is you've got dorsal processes. The spine goes like this. What you want to do is you want to find the actual process and pull it towards yourself. If you pull towards yourself and you rock that, what will happen is the inflammation between the kissing spine is going to make them bump. So muscle, kissing spine, like that, um, by pulling the actual structure. And then if you want to know if it's saddle, the really easiest way of telling saddle is by scratching the skin. Right, so if you've got a saddle that's been shifting and you irritate the superficial fascia or superficial connective skin, the tissue or the skin, it gets, the, the actual coat gets annoyed. So the easiest way is just to scratch that. If you scratch it, then you get a horse that buckles. Obviously, these are trotters and paces, they don't have a saddle on them. So we're not gonna have any reaction, but if you get any movement in the saddle, it's gonna annoy the fascia, and if you scratch it, you're going to get a reaction. If you push it, that'll be the muscle, and if you pull the structure, then you know you've got a structural thing or possible changes in the spine. Can't say kissing spine, but we're definitely gonna say changes. Um, so that's the easiest way. So if you check your horse, and you know it's not saddle, you know it's not um, the muscle, and you suspect that you've got changes in the spine, then you go to your vet and you speak to a vet. Be mindful about the level of kissing spine as well, much like the gut. It's not all of a sudden you have kissing spine. You have spinal changes or arthritis, then it gets worse and then we have it collapsing. Depending on what level of severity it is, there's different ways of treating it, different ways of helping it. It can be as simple as making sure that you collect properly and get the horse to use its back, hold itself. Um, so that's a really videos on it and Batteries going. Yeah, plenty of videos on it, and uh, uh, or you can go to my website and it has it all on there, shows you exactly how to check. So let's finish up because the battery's going to die. But thank you, everyone. This has been absolutely insane. We're going to jump off now, um, charge my phone. Thanks all for um, filling out with us and letting us do it. Um, hope it was worthwhile. Have a look at all my other videos, go onto my website, all that sort of stuff. Thank you for sharing, thank you for liking, thank you for that. Da, 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 da. Guys, the, Me. I'll just quickly go the, uh, so YouTube, um, <laughs> at langataequine.com, anyone who wants to jump over there, heaps all of good of videos over there. Every, oh yeah, everything's in the bio, yeah. so I'll just throw back to Christian to say goodbye with this Bye. beautiful horsey. Thank you. I'll see you soon, this has been unreal. Thank you so much. Thanks.